So now, <laughs> what were you saying, my brother? I just, I, I complimented you on your shades. Thank you. I appreciate I it. Those are nice. I asked what kind they were. And then I said, I, I, wanna, I have to start getting into shades now. Parks and asked Park me said why. Naturally. I don't wear glasses anymore. <laughs> So that you, don't say why you have to get in the shades. Oh nah, nah. Cause now I can. See, um, before before I could never get in the shades. Why? Cause I wore glasses. I get prescriptions. Yeah, nah, 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 nah. I'm not doing all that for every pair of shades. No, thank you. Wow. So now you're gonna get a whole fleet of shades. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna start, you know, get my little shades game up. Got you. I ain't mad at you, player. You know. Nothing crazy. A little pair here and there. Any yeah. side effect from the eyes yet? Nah. Mm-mm. I don't even use the um the drop shit no more. I don't have dry eye or anything. Mm. Vision great. Nighttime Thinking driving great. No tell problem. me I can't get it. Oh, damn. Your shit's that bad? Sheesh. Mm-hmm. I tried to get it a couple years ago. They told me my vision was too bad. Nah. I'm glad I got it. Life changer. Nah, I heard. What were you saying prior to your... Eye conversation. No, I wasn't saying nothing else. How y'all doing today? You good, Parks? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling well. I'm straight. How you doing, Joe? You good? I'll be good after I get an answer to my <laughs> I just question answered it. that I asked you. I answered it. I said I wasn't saying nothing else. That's the answer to the question. You said Joe's a fashion. No, I said I wasn't saying anything else. I remember something he was saying. I, no, I, something I, about fashion, I think, right? Yeah. Oh, oh I it, might be getting into fashion now or something. Maybe. We'll see. You got a style? No. no. <laughs> I don't make that much yet. Uh, you could probably find an affordable stylist that'll work within your means. I, I thought I he said he had one. one. No, he didn't say that. Oh, pardon me. It's not what he said. He definitely said that. <laughs> no, it's definitely not what he said. It was implied, at least. It wasn't even implied. Can you wear any color that you want tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Outside on a nice, beautiful, hot day? As long as it's not solid gray. Shorts or sweatpants. Solid gray. Why might, solid. That, why might that be? I, you said, Are you go. allergic to solid gray? Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. Fleece. Yeah. Break you out. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> got you, got you, yeah. got you. I'm with you. I'm allergic to yeah. the bullshit that come with that. I'm sure they make polyester. I, it's, not the the it's not about the material. It comes with bullshit. It's not about the material, brother. Uh, the bullshit comes with wearing solid uh, gray sweat. You would have to ask ice. I don't know. I'm not wearing solid gray. That's why I, this shit got some splash of color in it. But why? It's bullshit You're that not came t- with We don't know why. We don't have that What happened, Alex? You good? I'm Alex, still, what happened? Why you can't wear gray? I'm, my wear, G? I'm wearing gray now. My G was solid good. gray. Why you can't wear the solid gray? I don't like solid gray. Oh, okay. Uh, that's last season. That's the only color you don't like, right? Yes, yeah, only color. Right, whole spectrum. Tell on yourself, man. Go ahead and tell. Me. <laughs> Ain't nothing to tell, man. You know we had a little combo. Yeah, yo, don't go on, don't go out wearing that. Uh, mm. it's the same thing when I say don't go out wearing that. So it's it's respect. Control. That's control. It's control. It's control. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga admitted to the control. <laughs> oh, what you want me to lie? No, no, no. It's control. Wait, so you tell her too not to wear certain things, so it's only right that she should be able to say to you. Yeah. What good. colors she can't wear? It's not colors. It's, uh. it's, it's, she got some shit that says don't go outside in that. Mm. Why? If, I'm with, of, if I'm with you, we cool. It's cool. Same thing she told me. Yo, you you can wear this and this as long as I'm with you. Well, she put your clothes out like first day of school. <laughs> <laughs> On the bed. Nah. Oh. Nah. Well, why, why she can't her body, her clothes? You right. Y'all send each other a fit check in the morning? Her body, her choice. <laughs> in front of the mirror. You got to stand in front of the mirror like, you approve? Yeah, because how you tr- know? It's, it's trust. How you know what you mean? Uh-huh. Now, son, you ain't there. It's trust. Secret society. I trust you to do what I say? I trust you to do what you say. <laughs> what? I ain't confused. <laughs> What's that? Shit, ice. I trust Don't let Joe trip oh, you. Oh, I trust you to shit, do ice. what you say. Oh. I see what I... <laughs> Talk your shit Y'all getting cool Brother Joe today yo. I'm not playing With none of y'all mm. No know. I'm cool today I'm, too man. I'm, you getting cool move. You getting Grand Rising Joe Today Oh, oh you, you hotep Yep Grandest of risings For all mm. Positive vibes But what you think Is gonna happen If you step out In gray shorts right? I don't know what? <laughs> Women just Some women don't like eh, Listen I, Whatever She think you about to, she, she thinks she got A block shaker On her hands <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, Alex. You gonna get tackled? Yo, you gonna get tackled? Whoa. <laughs> Yo. What an imagination <laughs> she has. <laughs> oh, shit. She said, hey, no, Where no, Ice no. be going? That shit about to get yeah. foggy out when the gray shorts no step way. out. Ice don't go outside. We good. 
Best Buy? Yeah. Apple Store. <laughs> Burlington. The host. <laughs> oh, my you know God. Man? Yo, chill out, Alex. <laughs> I'm host. Oh, Yo, relax. Oh, oh, host. Mm, you on a side. Nah, that's valid. Oh, that's valid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. There it goes. Yeah, everybody good? Yo. There it goes. I ain't nah, so being valid. on a gray short uh, ban. Restriction <laughs> ban is the funniest thing in the world, yo. <laughs> Gotcha. Do you have those same like restrictions? You two, no. you're married. No. I said no, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he did kind of whisper that, right? Oh, I did. He ain't want to. He ain't want to hear it. How about you, Joe? You safe? <laughs> I don't even know. I never even <laughs> broached this topic. <laughs> and anytime it's said, I think it's a joke. Imagine somebody stopping me from wearing the extra thinnies to the strip club. <laughs> what? You gonna go get some extra, extra thin ones just for that? Are you shitting me? Oh, that's I, go, I go shopping with that in mind. <laughs> it's a little too thick, no. I'm okay. going there with some pajama pants oh, straight man. from the Nordstrom's rack. You shitting me? Oh, oh man. man. Oh, this is good. All right. This thing is good. Y'all ready, y'all ready to pod? What's up? I'm ready to pod, man. Yeah. I ain't spoke to you, bro. Y'all ain't? Yeah. yeah I'm All good. right. I'm good. I'm good now. Everybody had a good weekend? I'm good. Yeah. I had fun. Everybody. Mm -hmm. I had a good. great weekend. See, already that's boring. Like a podcast full of dudes that had a great weekend. I can well, tell you, I can tell you about mine. That's boring for you. You want to have a shitty weekend? Who the hell wants to hear? I got Nobody a little wants bit excitement in my weekend. Nobody wants to hear from the prude friend. You I want to hear from the beach. The whole girl. Hey, what you did last weekend, bitch? Oh, bitch, it was turned. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't want to hear for all. It was great. Man. Took my kids out to the I went to the nude beach. Hey, I'm You're finally. Lying. Yeah. Finally. You're lying. I swear to God. Right out there in the Rockaways. <laughs> well, no wonder you can wear gray shorts. <laughs> this guy's got some other inhibitions. All right, you went to the we nude kept beach. Our, we kept our clothes on. Oh. But you know what I mean? We hung oh. out. We had a good time. Now, boo. boo. We need a boo, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I guess we, all out. I mean, everyone wasn't Boo. nude, but nudity was uh, accepted there. Nah, they should have kicked y'all out. Wait, what'd you ask, Mish? I said y'all was just voyeurs. Uh, no, we were hanging out. Like I said, everyone wasn't naked, but yeah, it was acceptable. Out. It was acceptable. <laughs> Some nice young means out there. I Yo. saw a lot of naked people. Some pretty ones? Some Get pretty the ones. I mean, the, the thing with the nude beach is you get the good and the bad, mm -hmm. but everyone's beautiful in their own way. Good point. That's a great cape. And That's a lot of times it's more to yeah, the yeah. contrary. Yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who do you think was more scared of y'all getting nude at the nude beach? You or her? Neither of us are scared. We do it. Obviously, neither one. We went with another Give couple, so that would have been totally weird. <laughs> wait, 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 the uh, wait, appetizer out. sharing couple, different not couple, the, not ah. the nigga that ate your pancake. D different couple. <laughs> <laughs> y'all fly with a lot Yo, of couples, I see, boy. I see what's going on here. Y'all do a <laughs> lot of little <laughs> couple maneuvering. <laughs> Double dates are great, man. Hey, man, yeah. nah, y'all do it. Yeah, I see what's going on. Double, Double dates to the nudie beach. Yeah, that's a little different. That's that's a white shit. <laughs> I'm I'm good. Uh, my friends, they were going anyway. Said so you want to come? My friends, don't put it off on your friends. <laughs> no, they don't put they, it off. They were going. They I invited. knew something was up with nah, you when man. you was playing with your beard from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> my friends, did yeah, they have so, to twist your arm? No, not really. <laughs> not really. It was a good time. Nah, don't, 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 right. don't, beverages, don't invite me and my girl snacks. to the nudie beach. I'm gonna think you're just trying to look at my girl. Nah. Well, I you already didn't let her out in anything that we might find appealing. <laughs> That's true. So, so so the odds of her getting butterscotch are very, very Oh, my rare. God, yo. Got you. I'm with you. So if Pars called you up and said, yo. No. <laughs> what no, if man. I said I made clear, like, we're keeping our clothes on. We're just going to go mm -hmm. hang out. And... Yeah, y'all are. Every part nah, we do, I different. learn about yeah. you. That might be destiny. Yeah, no. I don't feel, cause if I, no, not for me. You wouldn't go with us to a new beach because you think we would be looking at your girl? No, fam. I'm talking about his question. Mm -hmm. if, I'm, if, if I'm going to the new beach, I'm going to partake. I'm not really? going to just fucking go and watch Partake everybody else in what? Nudity? Yeah. You whore. Oh, that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I'm not going. You been to the new beach? Exhibitionist. Where? In Jamaica. Nigga here. No. <laughs> Tell us about it. <laughs> no. Jamaica you Queens. Went, you went to hedonism or something? <laughs> no. No. Uh, Yo, y'all are freaks. I never did that. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't letting your color in the <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm lost. No, hedonism is an old nigga thing. You yeah, should have went. Is, you should have went. You went there before? 
No. You guys are prudes. Yo, something wrong with you, yo. It took you that long yeah, to answer. Yeah, you didn't have to think about that one for <laughs> It took you that long to answer. Yeah, I don't know. Hear yeah, it. Y'all boy, not going to get the grand rising out of me. Pause. <laughs> pause. Definitely pause in this I'm particular gonna, instance. Oh, pause me. Nude beach man gets the pause. <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is fucking insane. Oh, man. So who was taller out of you or the, your friend that went? I'm taller. Well, he has a bigger foot out of you, too. <laughs> I, didn't, I guess I, 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 I didn't, didn't, didn't think about it. Huh? No. Yo, bro, put up that your foot. Let's see how this is gonna go. But if your friend wanted all y'all to get nude at the nude beach, what would you have said? No, it's weird. I don't want to see your wife. Yo, y'all. I don't want to <laughs> <don't wanna> see <laughs> his wife naked. But you went to the it's nude beach. It's a very beach. big difference. It's, it's a very big, big difference from seeing very, strangers very, naked, very, from seeing my yes. friend's wife that we hang out frequently yes, naked. Yes, yes. It's a very. Big That's kind of what I was saying. That's, That's a difference. I said, don't ask. God. Don't invite me with you and your girl. You don't think I'm going to the nude beach? I guess. Don't ask me. I'm straight. Don't ask me. Yo, like traditionalist. <laughs> don't, don't try to ask me. <laughs> you you might swing have, real quick. Yeah, don't ask me what I would do. Yo, yo turn that whole shit up. <laughs> y'all got Joe fucked up. Y'all got some real fifties and sixties thoughts. <laughs> no, you can't look at her. Okay. Oh man, but that is what the new beach is for. Yeah. So if you go there, you go with whatever. Come on. Uh what are you gonna start with? I don't know. You got some vibes yeah, for yeah, us? Come on. Yeah, I, set, set, yeah, set the but, tone. Yeah. What episode is this? Five fifty. Not that numbers matter. Or age. We're ageless. That's right. This could be episode one. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be one. Could be zero. Microphone check. One, two. What is this? Welcome to episode 550 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your humble, gracious, grateful, and highly favored host. Here with a few of my nearest and dearest. Parks is here. Yep. Ish is here. Ice is here. Yo. Corey is here. Young boys in the back, y'all good? Yeah. Your weekend was all right? Yes, sir. Good. Glad to hear it. Glad you could be here with us today. How about you, gentlemen? Great. Pretty good, man. Pretty good. Glad Pretty to be much. here, like you said. All right. Where would you like to begin? We'll get right to it. Uh-oh. What you yeah. got for us? York and shit, my opinion, man, y'all gotta get them old niggas about the way, like flexing them niggas, man. Y'all mean them gatekeepers that that y'all got up there, man? That's that's trying to dictate like who who who, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is Conway from Griselda. I don't need y'all niggas because if I needed y'all niggas, y'all niggas would be fake stifling my growth. Y'all don't play my shit. Such so one you got on Wendy Williams show, nigga, on primetime TV, nigga, and like say what you said. Flex you, every chance you get, you. You said that. You got to stand on that. Which, you didn't, like, shit on us. Like, I want to make that clear. Goose, you know what I'm saying? So what I told you when I said, like, oh, shit, he ain't saying nothing wrong, shit. That's, that ain't his motion. He don't listen to that shit. But it's like, what do you listen to then, bro? <laughs> it's clear what you listen to. You want to dick ride the niggas who lit and popular in the club and, you know, all that shit. You know? That's what y'all All like, right. To which Flex has responded, he says, so let's begin. You're managed by Rock Nation, Jay-Z, signed to Shady Records, Eminem, distributed by Interscope Records, major label. You and your team have had a feature from Jay-Z, Eminem, Lil Wayne, J. Cole, Jada Kiss, Travis Scott, French Montana, and more. Weren't you on Kanye's Donda album? I'm going to give you advice, uh, the advice that Paul Rosenberg should have gave you. You're a 40-plus bars rapper, sorry lyricist that has had every resource possible. If you are not happy with your career as of today, with all those cosigns, I think you have peaked, my guy. What do you think? You're only going to take this as disrespect because truth might be a bit much for you. Signed, Grandpa, Wheelchair Bandit, Warm Milk General. I might need a podcast. What do y'all think? Okay. <laughs> That's the gist of their back and forth. Uh huh. I'm here to ask you, gentlemen, where you guys stand on this. I mean, I think that expecting support from major label making underground hip hop or major uh radio stations making underground hip hop is unrealistic expectations. All right, I, so you're on flex side. No, I don't like the way that he responded though. I love the way he responded. Well, he let Parks finish getting shit off. Right. Cuz what does that have to do with his point of you not playing my music? It has nothing to do with the point. It's true. At whatsoever. It need at no point in Conway's rant was he talking about being bitter or unhappy or unsuccessful or any of the things that Flex is alluding to here. He, did, he was talking he, about he not did, getting he play. did well he did say you're stifling my growth. Mm-hmm. Which is No, he said if I needed you 
Correct. You would be stifling my growth. I don't really need you because I'm still moving around. But if I needed you or your cosign, then you would be stifling me. Then what would be the point of the entire Conway rant? If you um, don't need Flex and he's not stifling anything, then why rant and why bring that up? I'm only saying I think that's what Flex is responding to, but go ahead. I mean, you would still want to hear your music if you think your music is um, relevant. You would still want to hear your music on one of the biggest hip-hop stages in the world, which is New York City. Were you done? Uh, no, I, I have more to add. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, go ahead. I think that what he mentioned with the uh, Sus1 thing, Sus1 went on Wendy Williams, and from what I understand, he said that Conway is in his top five rappers, lyricists, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So I think that's kind of his beef. And I don't know what he was referring to Flunk, Funk Flex saying, but if he put him in a similar type of list, it's like, yo, if you love my shit that much, why don't you ever play it? I, I think that particular type of hip hop might have passed us. Like, I think if they would have came out in the, in the early 2000s, Griselda would have been in the tops of a lot of people's shit. I just think that that particular... Griselda's in the tops of a lot of people's shit. No, I know. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, do mainstr well. mainstream hip-hop. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, I think that that's for our generation. We Because he, he even mentions bars, mm -hmm. like bars rappers, and he puts it in quotes, meaning, like, that's not necessarily what niggas want to hear today. We like that because we like rappers. But the young kids ain't necessarily listen to that shit. I don't like rappers, but I know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, jokers that get busy. And ice. Um, I, I agree with what you're saying, Ish. I think that's why he's telling him, yo, you're a bars rapper. That's not the sound. So of you're today. on whose side here? Conway? <sighs> I, I see both of their points. Flex is paid by the radio station to play what's hot. They not necessarily what the mainstream want to hear today. You get what I'm saying? So I can't play y'all shit. I might think that most deaf is hot. That don't mean I'm going to play it on the radio. All right. Let me, basically, fam, y'all are an underground sound. Even if it's a popular underground sound, you're an underground sound. Just like you were just saying, anything played on the radio is coming from up above. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like that, y'all don't. These DJs don't choose what they playing on these shows. Right. I think that's a cop out too. It's the truth. It's a cop out though. It's still the truth. But it's they still, still a, got a, they still got a, a cop out. Of, they got, they a got a little bit. But of not only that, wiggle room. Not not, yeah, not I for nothing. I can play what I want to play, and I don't like that. I'm not playing it. I was just gonna say, <laughs> not for nothing. This. Well, well, it's not really a rate. Y'all don't make radio records. Y'all don't make club records. Flex is DJing in the club. I'm not going to play it there. Flex is DJing on the radio. You don't make the music for this. Listen, I got a demo I got to feed. I got, they don't, if they don't want to hear it, what you want me to do? You have, y'all have a great fan base, a loyal, dedicated fan base, but it's an underground fan base. Mm -hmm. This is not an underground platform. I agree. That's just really what it all boils down to. You're you're you you want you you saying I don't I don't need this cosign, I don't need this. So why you care if Flex play it or not then? And why are you singling out Flex? Because he's him. See, I don't and like you it. know he's him. I don't like that. But you know Flex is him. I don't like that. You want bombs dropped on your record. You that's what you want. I don't like that because there's nothing wrong with what Conway is saying until you start singling out one person. And that just opens the door for a whole new conversation. I wouldn't call Flex a gatekeeper by any standard. Mm -mm. Not but, today. But, eh, some standard. Not today. Explain why, it to me. Why wouldn't you? When Flex drops bombs on your shit, it may, it, it means something. It's not a gatekeeper. Not, to, not today, man. There, there are mad entry, mean, entryways into music outside of Funkmaster Flex. I, I have these kids. And, and, and to be frank with you, Flex ain't the ground level. In, has never been the ground level entry way for uh, new rappers. Mm. Every new rapper signed knew that you wasn't just running the flex to get your shit played. Mm -hmm. But they not necessarily new now. They also, they in the game now. Mm -hmm. Like the game is the game and everybody got a job to do. Like there was a couple seconds where I took my, a record I was trying to work to people that I thought I had a relationship with after Pump It Up and they didn't play it and I got mad. Mm -hmm. There was a few times that that's happened mm -hmm. until you learn... Everybody's doing a job. Right. Everybody's got something to do. Like I said, they don't make radio records. True. They don't attempt to make radio records. True. Or so they, rare that... They don't yeah. really make choruses often. Right. They don't attempt to make a chorus outside of their zone. It's almost so like they're going against it. So then why y'all get mad at Flex for saying he don't play it? Now, I ain't going to judge him. Because when we was coming up, 
we used to say the same shit. Yo, get y'all old niggas off the radio because y'all 50 years old. Y'all just out of touch. Y'all not listening to what we listening to. Y- y'all ain't on the radio and get in your car and then go play all that bullshit. Y'all go turn Diana Ross on. That's what we used to say. <laughs> uh-huh. So I understand the sentiment, but I'm not with singling out just one person that don't have so much power over your career in the first place to me. Well, I think it was two two people, him and Sus one, but still. And if neither one of them are gatekeepers. I, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I could be wrong here. Didn't uh he did flex freestyles, right? He did the yeah, he did the And that's where called. some of so, this stems from cuz Flex was making some silly ass face while he was rhyming. Yeah. Okay, cuz I'm saying you calling him a gatekeeper and this that everybody can't go up there and sit there and, and freestyle for Flex. True. I think the the beef that at least the internet has made out of it, I can't speak on if Conway or any of them have made out of it. It's he Flex will be up there going crazy for whoever. Okay. No, but that's not true. It is kind of true. I, 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 oh, you mean on the freestyle? Yeah, on the freestyle. Oh, I'm not talking about that. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the freestyle. And when when they were up there, he was kind of just stone faced sitting there, like not even bopping his head type shit. That's what people so observers that, have said. Okay. But that contradicts you saying you don't care. Like, I don't need this. I don't need flex. If you, if I needed you, you would be holding me back. Like, you mad because I'm not making faces and and going nuts during your freestyle? But nah, I think but his else? face. It, nah, but his faces was kind of. You've seen Flex go absolutely yeah, yeah, crazy for way, way lesser yeah, man, I, bars. Fam, I took Ars up there, and uh-huh. Ars was killing shit, and Flex was just sitting there for a minute, and I'm like, afterwards, he was like, yo, he ain't really, I said, so what? You did your shit, and when it go out, they gonna see it. Right. You don't need him to to to, to go crazy on it. You he did your shit. I, I was talking about in terms of, yeah, it was, uh, Alice could find it. It was uh, a face that shouldn't have been made while anybody's rapping, good or not. Mm. Gotcha. Like, okay. it was... So you, if, if I'm on your platform, I was invited to be here. Like respect me while I'm rapping. And all that, yeah. Yeah, he was talking to his man. He was looking off to the side, almost like like it was it was some of that. I was talking about okay playing records, right, right. And for Flex, if you wasn't a 1 a.m. club in New York club record, mm-hmm. or being played in that 1 a.m. set, you wasn't cracking a funk Flex set. That's from the G-Unit days to the Locks days, Bone Crusher, even when he jumped on Atlanta Records, that just, like, Hove, Rockefeller, all of that shit. Anything outside of that is going to have a hard time getting cracked. He got on focus late. (laughs) Mm. But that, I I just, personally, this is my personal take. I don't even see getting mad at Flex today. Where you got the the internet is what made y'all pop. Mm-hmm. Y'all never needed him. Mm-hmm. What can and this is not a shot flex. You're solidified, but today is so many ways to get your shit out there and pop and become successful without radio. Radio's I mean, damn near a dying medium today. But I don't think that that's as a rapper though. You, you can feel like somebody's want, going out of their yeah, way to you ignore still me. Want to especially be if shit played in New York City, bro. And especially if in the case of Sus One, at least you went on a major platform and said, "I'm one of your favorite rappers ever," but you never play my shit. Yeah, but that's too. That's sens- two that, different that's, things. That's, that's that's too sensitive for me. That's two different you. things. I bro. could go on TV and say what the fuck I want, and I can go to my job and play what the fuck I want. Or you could be one of my favorite rappers, and I don't like listening to your songs. Some niggas or can rap, but can't make a song. One of my favorite rappers in the car, and while I'm home yeah. on my personal time, I have a job to do. Yo, these DJs. Got a, got a point. You know how many <laughs> ill lyricists I can't listen to their music, but but yeah, you got bars. Just because you can spit. Bars and metaphors and entendres don't mean you can make a good record. But I think the bigger point is what Joe's saying is that, or what you mentioned earlier. This is my slot. This is my format. This is what the type of music that I have to play. I have to play top forty because I'm on it. Whatever five o'clock prime time, I can't play not commercial music at that slot. I have to bring in ratings. I have to bring in uh, time spent listening. I have to retain audience. Listen, I can see it see it on amp. You play one bad record, you lose one or two people. Mm. Or a record they deem to be bad. Really? That's how these That's things how work. Goes. So no, he ain't got time to go up there and play around with some shit that he don't feel. I hope it don't sound like I'm caping for Flex, because I totally get where Conway is coming from if he never singles out Flex. Mm-hmm. He could have made that blanket statement about older DJs in New York and how they missing the beat with some young, fresh shit. Mm-hmm. 
But you could have said that's that. Not without... young, fresh shit. Young and fresh, as in young and fresh. Nothing young are and fresh about it. this, man. This y'all are the but damn near the same age. That's not a shot. Talking about an audience, but I'm just, but hear me out. You, the sound isn't like you said. This is an older sound. It's a sound that, like you said, it's you fuck with it because from that's that's the era. Mm-hmm. I, I like the niggas that get busy with it. That's not the young sound today. I know young people that like Griselda. I'm, I'm not saying it's still an underground. It's, it's not a not mainstream, not sound. a popular. It's it is not, to them. That's a small portion of the pie. They're not like uh, commercial. No, they're not. We're not talking about that. That's what I'm, I'm on the radio. I'm talking about commercial. Let me ask everybody got to stay in Atlanta. Yo. Let me ask you a question. It wouldn't be weird if Tech Nine popped up and started dissing flex. <laughs> True. Yeah. But Why? Let me, let me ask you a question. Wait, an, let, answer me. Answer that first. Why? That might not be what he. Tech Nine is older than them, though, and been around the game way longer than them. So now, if he age jumped, is not the reason. No, listen. Why. No, I'm talking about his age in hip in the game, like his length in okay. hip hop in okay. the game. So now, if you just magically was being satisfied over here, making money, being an underground hip hop artist, and now magically you come to the one of the biggest. Um, mediums in the world and say, yo, y'all not playing my shit, it would look awkward. These are street under rappers that want to be heard on the street platforms. And Th- technically, hip- Hot 97 is a street hip hop platform. That's the mistake. That's not true. That's it not true at all. Hot 97 is nothing. Is nothing. Not I don't care if you nothing. listen at 2 in the morning. It's not a street platform. Nothing about Rosenberg that. Rosenberg goes on there and plays. I don't uh, care what he plays. I'm just Hot saying, 97 not is platform. not a street platform. That is a privately owned Company that was purchased, uh, that purchased whatever they did how many years ago, and that street, they could go play every street record they want to play. They could play it twenty four seven. You know what I mean? I don't mean like that. I don't mean that it's a street ran business. It's definitely a privately owned company. But when you start talking about hip hop, I get what he's saying, yo. I get what he's saying. And and to your into your tech nine point, let me ask you this: Can you can you say? And I'm not comparing them before everybody runs and says dumb shit can you say that they are or their sound is much much different than the locks because yes. that's the comparison that's being made stop yeah. it yo yeah stop it yo yeah okay stop would you like it, me to sit real quick Bro, it, uh, no I, we're not arguing i'm asking a question well to answer your question I'm, th- yes, what the people are saying is, very... is that they are similar it depends to the on locks. which area locks you're talking about too though Fam, no it locks don't first single is if you think i'm jiggy. no it don't it was they were making commercial records and street records. Which they is, don't make is, anything commercial. Which is why, but Styles P today puts out shit that's a lot closer to Griselda than yeah. he was putting out in nineteen ninety. And you don't hear Styles P on Hot ninety seven. That's true. True. That is true. That's it. I'm not even dignifying that from a rap fan. That's it. If you make that sound, if you, you want to make the underground that, sounding music, you, it's going to be underground. You would have to be to them to these platforms. You know, how un- you know how unfamiliar you would have to be with the locks and when they came in, like to make that statement. Like the locks, which is why are, said, the which locks era? came in putting hooks, yeah, on records on your beat. It was joints, songs that just was street freestyles. They came in like that. Hmm. Listen, the biggest. Uh, Locks moment of the last year was Jada Kiss rapping over Showbiz and AG's fucking next next level remix, which is Griselda esque. It is. Wait, the biggest freestyle last year was what? I'm saying the biggest Locks moment was Jada Kiss freestyling over the Showbiz and AG yeah. uh, next level. They nighttime play that, they play that live in the club right now. Mm-hmm. They play that in the club. With so, Jada which Kiss. is why I say You're depends on which era. Yeah, yeah the, from verses they re-released it as a single. They did. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And that is a similar sound. I'm shutting up, yo. That is not a... Si- oh, okay. Y'all ain't getting the grand, grand yeah. rising out of me. I get both of them. What moments. Griselda freestyle reminds you of that? What you mean? Which Griselda freestyle? Reminds you or puts you in the vein of what Jadakiss did. S- several. I don't know the names of them off the top of my head. I'm just talking about the sound. Yeah. It's familiar. The sound is what I'm talking sound. about. Exactly. And again, oh. I don't, before everybody starts saying, I'm I'm saying that they rap as good as Jada. I'm not I'm saying, not saying that, that either. What I'm saying is the sound is similar. I don't, even, similar hear it. I don't even hear a similar sound. Cool. And again, you 
artists that make the underground sound. Remember, I told y'all that was my beef. That's why I don't really listen to them that much. It's that sound. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, it's gonna be treated as underground. Granted, it's a huge fan base that fucks with it, but it's still underground. I agree, and I don't expect them to play that. Yo, 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 the thing about this is the thing, yo. It's what they say about why Ben Simmons need to shoot the three even if he can't make it or try the mid-range, right? This is the thing. And I'm about to get geeky musician for a second. But as a musician, when you're at your ceiling of, of limitations and you only have so but so much in your toolbox, you'll eventually have to go and learn to add. True. And whether you're good or bad at that, it's just not. you trying to do these other things True. will add a, a, a weapon for you in other instances. So I guess when you say, yeah, they did the same thing up there. One freestyle, Jada Kiss freestyle. But because Jada Kiss is such a Swiss army knife and is so well versed in all of these different rap variations, it's going to look different when he does it. It's a master up there. It's not just rhyming words over a certain sound. It's control and command of an entire building of words and silence. No, I'm not just throwing that on these niggas. They're great rappers. They have to go and figure out how to add those other things that make the flexes pay attention. That make uh, in, uh, DJ Envy at whatever club he used to do. All of the different DJs that were in nightlife that shit, that shit that the locks do that made you play any Styles P record that came next. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I'm talking about. It's like an intangible thing. We just talking about words and sounds. I'm done. That was my rant. No, I agree. That's my rapper rant for the day. My rapper rant. Great rapping don't get you in every room, yo. For, for sure. sure. For sure. That's true. I agree with that. Like I said, it's a lot of great rappers. Excellent. Bars. That go. Wordsmiths. That's whatever true. you want to call I don't them. play them, though. I don't want to hear that shit. It, it, okay. But I ain't even mad at, at Conway if he go and make a few records that he feel like Flex should have played. Well, damn, how'd he skip these? See, you could go through that over there. Yo, I'm blowing up. I'm from over here. It's getting kind of hard to ignore me. If you're not fucking with me now, it's just you're not fucking with me. Well, yeah, you could think that, but you still got to go give it a shot. And see if you could crack that. Hip hop fan fandom is built on the first time somebody hearing you, they don't fuck with you. It's how do you get through, how you get through those yeah. walls from people? You yeah. think hip hop fans is just receptive to shit? That is true. We I, are, especially, but we shit. ain't. A lot especially of people that I'm a fan of, when I first heard them, I was like, nah, I'm cool. And then they made something else mm -hmm. that wasn't like what I first heard. Yeah. And I'm like, oh shit. I this talk, is, I talk nah, I fuck I, with this. I talk here all the time about my little five, six, seven song rule and how I block out radio, I block out flex, I block out certain shit because you just can't get me with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. I wish everybody well. Indeed. Go. Indeed. Thoughts and prayers? Uh, yeah. yeah, thoughts and prayers. Okay. Everybody I will say this too. The Griselda team is very good at drumming up some shit to get people talking. Just roll out? They're, I don't know if it's a roll out, but I I'm think asking, they, I don't... I don't like I said uh, during the West Side conversation in the last pod, they're fans of the WWF shit. So I wouldn't put it past them to be playing into some shit. They may be really how they feel. But use it to play into something. Yeah, they might be playing into some shit. Got it, got it. So then how's it WWF if they really feel like that? Because All things can be storyline. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, you, you could. WWF, some of them niggas hated each other, but we're going to use we're gonna use that for entertainment purposes. Yeah. Then, it, then is it real or fake? Both. It's both. I hate y'all. <laughs> I hate, no, I hate no, 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 no. If they really look, feel really like that, I think it would be real. And no. then they trying to get a result from it, though. Yeah, but if, if I really feel, feel like, like that, that, but I held it until it was beneficial to act on it, then that's where the fake part comes in. But you feel it. No, it's still real, but I'm <laughs> yeah. saying the fake part, I could have been saying Come on, let's move on. Let's move on. What do yeah, we got? Dogs. We got Cardi beefing with the shade room. Again. Again. <laughs> For the second time. What, third time? Third time, fourth time, fifth time. Oh, this has been gonna. This been an ongoing thing. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah. oh, see. I didn't know that. Her beefing with all the blog sites, really. Yeah, but it seemed a little bit like uh, there's been more here. Yeah, well, it sounds like she has like a, a, a relationship. with yeah. someone over there. Listen, I'm for it. 
I'm anti shade room. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, Cardi. So you don't care what the beat was about. I don't care. <laughs> Yeah. I got the shade room blocked. Like, oh I, shit! I, they no, did no. you, man? No, they do nothing to me. I just think they're just terrible for for us. Mm. I've always felt that about the shade room. So, what you mean? I don't like. Focusing like on negativity. Focus on, yeah, I was just going to say that. I don't like the, the, the you just focus on negativity. Yeah, they got their little positive posts here and there, but anything I see that pops up or I see the game people strikes, running right? with is is the negativity. And it seems like they lean into it. It's kind of like my beef with the way love and hip hop used to be. Same thing. TMZ. Uh, TMZ does both. Yeah, they do. do they? Yeah, yeah, they do. I just think that in, in society, the salacious shit just grabs more attention. It's true. So you run into business, the negativity shit is going to push more than the positivity. We, it's just negativity spreads faster. Generating money. But. For me, I feel like if I don't consume anything from them, because like I've I've seen people go on the shade room and then be stuck there for like just reading and back and forth. I don't want to see it. So I like I said, if, if she's taking down the shade room, Cardi, you got my support. Well, her main beef appears to be that she was getting quote unquote shadow banned, right? Like ch- they the muted, comments they muted her. Yeah, so well, she that, couldn't comment. That's a new f- no, no, no. That's no. a new feature. They didn't they didn't mute her. They restricted her. So whereas she still sees her comment there, but, but nobody, nobody else, else does. does. And that's where the sucker shit came in, if you ask me. Because they made it seem like, nah, 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 we still fuck with you, this, that, and the third. And she's like, well, I'm posting this, but somebody else screenshot. I was like, no, this is what they did. Look, uh, let me show you how it works. And then I started to see that gaslighting word thrown around again, and then that's when I checked out. <laughs> yeah, I'm just tired of that word. But um, she had a, she had a, well, we ain't got a, I think I think it's sucker shit on their behalf, hiding her shit. Yeah, like if you're gonna talk about me and you're gonna make money off of me, at least give me the um, opportunity to address it. You get what I'm saying? I agree. For you to mute my tweet, on, I mean my comment only. Mm-hmm. I think that's cowardly. Mm, so now you're gonna make me cake for the shade room out. It's my platform. You have a bigger platform than me. So, so if you want to go and address something, you go and put it on your Instagram page. I disagree. I don't have to let you comment on me. True. On I, my platform. And I, that's why I said it's, I think it's Carolyn and sucker shit. You don't have to. Yeah. But if you're going to make money about talking about me, then at least give me the opportunity in which to speak on it. You have it. You <laughs> have a huge goal. You're, you're you right. could say something in the entire world here. Cool. You got way more reach than me. Um, I don't know about that, but. Cardi B has way more reach than the shade room. No, in, in, a, in a literal sense, you. yeah, but... If no, in every know, sense. <laughs> I, I disagree, but it's cool. You can disagree. How do you disagree Why? with that? Because everybody that goes to the shade room on a daily basis don't necessarily check Cardi B's page on a daily basis. Let me finish. There are people that go to the shade room every single day specifically for the negativity, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Cool. So they may not go to Cardi B page every day. They, even if she might got 30 million followers, they may not do that. But she don't have thirty million. I'm just giving. I'm just throwing a number out. I'm just saying. So she she might have double their followers, mm-hmm. but people might not necessarily go to their page every single day looking for the the bullshit that they go to shady the shade rooms page looking for. So allow me the opportunity in which to address it or speak on it. That's just my opinion. Okay. Now, if Cardi B says anything it goes everywhere you can't avoid it i don't follow cardi b or the shade room guess what i seen this whole exchange why not because the shade room says something because cardi said something that's Mm -hmm. what i mean she is good you got a bigger platform they're gonna cover whatever you say everywhere you can't escape it cool so yeah go address it i guess i guess do you think she has the power to get rid of the shade room no I hope she did. I wish she did, though. <laughs> I'm with it. Get them out of here. Too late for that. Yeah, nah, they too big. They're too... And not for nothing, it's too many of these uh, people in bed with them. Hmm. Like, they're they're a major player now. For sure. So, yeah, you ain't going nowhere. And, and there's not, a million other ones another like Another one it. will pop yeah, up exactly. tomorrow. If they if they left, another one will just grow stronger and pop up tomorrow and start doing the same shit. Mm-hmm. Could damn near go hire their staff. Yeah, you and know I what think, I'm saying? Do the same thing. And I think after that Tasha K situation, a lot of these blogs are, are playing, you know, they, they running past legal, making sure, hey, can I say this? Can I do this? Can I do that? Mm-hmm. Like, they covering their they asses. So I don't think she really has much power over them, but I just like to see that. 
Got my support, Cardi. You got any thoughts on this? No, I hate that I have to. No. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> no, not at all. I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't really fuck with the shade room, and that's that. I just don't ever say it, because then I would be doing what Conway did to Flex that I didn't like. <laughs> Singling them out when it's... Yeah, I just... Because my problem is not specifically... Yo, so who the fuck don't know? It's a fam. <laughs> 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 what was I saying? <laughs> it's you not say, just them. It's not it's shade bunch. room yeah. specifically. It's that whole culture. That I, it's the culture mm-hmm. that I have a problem with. Blog culture, uh, and it's not blog culture. It's a specific type of blog culture. Correct. That uh, builds an audience off of this type of bullshit. Like my Conway thing would be, hey, shade room niggas do. 30 billion positive things. Y'all skip all that and post every negative thing of every black male that you could possibly find. Mm-hmm. But to say that every day, it's like, eh. And, and you know nah. what else? Because you, know you know why it's done. Everybody has a job to do. Correct. Sure. They got a job to do as well. And not just and, that. Like I said, the money is generated from negativity. It ain't really generated from positivity. And on top of that, like, like after what you said, it just made me think, like my beef with the shade room necessarily is because they're the biggest one. Yeah, they like just, just the said, biggest they one. They just the biggest mm-hmm. one. So they the bigger target. That's mm-hmm. all that is. Cause it's a whole, like you said, it's a whole bunch of them out there that do the same shit. For sure. But they the name that get attached to it. It's kind of like not for nothing. It's kind of like when I used to troll and people used to get upset over it, like artists and shit. Mm-hmm. You see my name in your mentions a million times, but I'm not the one saying the fucked up shit. I'm just saying I didn't like this. Other people are really getting Pilot disrespectful. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're adding on to it, but you yeah. keep seeing me because I'm the bigger one. Cause for me, it's not the brand; it's the brand that uh, it's the it's the it's who the brand attracts. Mm. Like I can't get mad at the shade room; they just monetizing off the shit that people give them. Mm-hmm. They blur out the curse word, they blur out your Twitter yeah. name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They'll fake a text exchange, they'll fake a skit, anything, and y'all just run to it. Eat it right up. So I avoid it because. I know who the y'all is that's running to it. Mm-hmm. That's not a knock to the shave room, right? You got to understand branding about everywhere in life. Mm-hmm. Ah, case in point. Last week on the blog, something popped up. It said, Big Fendi and Tory Lanez have a talk about a naked pool party. I click on it. And I know Big Fendi. I know Tory Lanez. Click on it. Fendi saying, yo, this weekend is going down. Big pool party, private location. It's going to be nudity everywhere. And then... Uh, Tory got weird and was like nudity yo what you mean what you mean and then Fendi hung up on him so I laughed I thought that was funny cause if you know that Fendi's brand mm-hmm. yeah then there's nudity there absolutely mm-hmm. and if you also know his brand might be some other things going on there that's my man mm-hmm. and I don't go to them shits it's branding <laughs> right sure enough Monday morning yep. flashing across the news I'm waking up in bed. Had a long Sunday night. Gunshots ring off at the pool party. Uh, I said, I said, nigga, shit. I said, then get this better not. This, I swear for God, better not. Glen Cove, private location. <laughs> there was a rapper. They put Fendi face on the screen of the news. Shit. Oh shit! I said, man. <laughs> I turned to get up. I turned to ESPN or some shit. But I said, see, branding. Mm. Not to say that that's, that's not Fendi's fault, of course. No, no, no. no. And hopefully everybody's all right. I didn't see any uh, any casualties, fatal fatal casualties anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that's what casualty means. I think casualty can be an injury, right? too. I don't okay. think so. Three were, no, three I think. Yep, three, three were. Is that a casualty? <laughs> I think casualty can be an injury. I don't think so. First, it's a person killed. No. Yeah, I think it's a person okay. or injured. Or, or injured. Or accident. Yeah, it could be an injury. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> casualty sounds a lot worse than it does. You yeah. got hurt, then you got mm-hmm. injured. Still a casualty. Yeah, that's oh, true. Guys. Anyway, that was my shade room take. Okay, I'm with ice. <laughs> Bring him down. But now, but like, it ain't just you know. I want my audience to know that I hate talking about all of this shit, yo. I hate it. We all. Do I hate that y'all yeah, yeah, care yeah. about it. I hate that it's important somehow. All this shit is a distraction. <laughs> I hate Word. it. They, and That's they why. T- as soon as something happens, yo, y'all gotta talk about this. Like, why? 
Let's talk about the new picture of the universes. Yeah. You know like, what I mean? Let's talk about that. Stars. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> y'all seen the picture, man. They told y'all that was stars. Uh, Wait, what was the way happened? And NASA they came lied. out with a new telescope and uh, some new stars. They took it. They took a picture of the universes. You can see all these little universes. It looks like bacteria or something. Nah, hold up. No, no, no. Look at his face. <laughs> no, no, no. It gets better. They said the area that they looked at was the equivalent of holding one grain of sand at arm's length. What? So that picture you see, that's what they looked at, and they saw all of this in there. I'm confused. Can y'all, someone explain right. this to me? They, NASA has a new telescope that they launched. Uh, I forget when it launched, a couple years ago. But it's supposed to be, the, the Hubble telescope was like the farthest seeing shit we mm -hmm. had. Mm -hmm. Now it's this uh, uh, James Webb telescope, which it can go, it can see Far way, 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 way. It makes the Hubble telescope look like play, play school, uh, play, uh, preschool shit. Mm -hmm. This is the big boy. So they released the first images that they took from it. And this is the first image. And they were saying that the area that they looked at was the equivalent of holding one grain of sand at arm's length. So that's how small it is they looked and they saw all of this. And they saw all that. I call bullshit. This, but, this know. would matter more to, to us if Basquiat did it. <laughs> <laughs> if we put some air, some quotes. <laughs> Phil, I hear you, man. I know. You think it's all phony? Hell yeah, I don't believe none of this. <laughs> they telling us anything now. Like, yo, yo, that's that's all the galaxies out there. I just, just wonder how much that shit costs. That's just that's that's how Zav came out. This is this is <laughs> universe Zav. <laughs> nigga was on Zav. This is yeah, Sky Zav. Nah, nigga was out there for real. Was on Zav, Zav. Hi hi. Yeah, I've seen that before. <laughs> I, I actually saw that before. Yeah. I, yeah, back when I was trying to get the little vision thing and I was staring at the light bulb too much <laughs> and pulled back and blinked. I saw the you same see shit. That. You will exact see that. same no shit. No bullshit. That is true. It was moving and everything. Same shit. <laughs> I've been had the James it's Webb funny. telescope, man. Y'all late. But yeah. Oh man. Science Congrats. Science. Yeah. To Congrats to NASA. Uh, is there aliens yet? <laughs> we the aliens. Why we, we ain't been back to the moon? Ta-da. Ta Ta Would you like to know their reasoning that we haven't been back to the moon? Yeah. Okay, so they said when we went to the moon, it was a completely barren, empty, lifeless rock. So they said they don't want to keep wasting resources going there. When they've already went there, saw it was nothing there, so now let's go somewhere else. Resources as in capital? It costs a lot of money to get these rockets and send these astronauts up there. One, one spacesuit is $12 million. Who makes the money? Uh, they make the money. Uh, so, I get what you're saying. So what are they spending? <laughs> <laughs> Not just that, in a budget, in a budget, in, in a governmental budget every year, NASA gets X, Y, Z billions and billions and billions of well, dollars. Well, now it's space, uh, space force. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Yes, well, you gotta be careful. Neil deGrasse Tyson will get on Joe's ass about that. And he explained space force to me. And we it's need necessary. we need space force. <laughs> Yo, we need that shit for real. <laughs> we need space force. No, no, no. <laughs> when you start really looking at space you want, force, ain't running around looking for aliens. So y'all went to the moon in '79 or what year was that? Let me ask you a question. '69. Niggas ain't going to. Yo, let me ask you a question. Right and now. just was like, oh, that was cool. <laughs> and never went back. Look, look, hey, first time I went to Turks, <laughs> you know what I said? Oh, I will be back here. Well, there was no the whole time. coming back. There's no hoes now, on now the, the flip moon, side, oh, But the flip the side, the first, the first time I went to Chester, PA. <laughs> what do you think? PA? They went up there and was like, yo, ain't no bitches up here. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah. But look, first time I went to Chester, PA, I said, I'm never coming back here again. So yeah. that could be how they looked at it. You said you're never going back to New York and you're living out there. I said Chester, PA. Let me ask you a question. How was the flag waving? What the flag? wind was blowing. Nigga. Ain't no wind up there. <laughs> they brought some wind. What flag? You talking about the one Steve Spielberg put up there? <laughs> yeah, that one. The one they stuck in the quote unquote moon that they stuck in the moon. How was the flag going like you that? You talking about this is the M. Night Shallahan moon. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no gravity. I'm, I'm, I'm ain't no wind. On M. Night Shallahan. <laughs> ain't no wind. Ain't no gravity. How the fuck was the flag fl fl fluttering? The moon. <laughs> yeah. I'm just telling you, they version, we went bro. They ain't the, been to no moon. Niggas is in Hollywood. <laughs> fuck you talking about, nigga. <laughs> so everybody here believed they never went to the moon? I definitely I believe they that. never went to the moon. I definitely. They took off from Cape Canaveral and went. <laughs> Why does the takeoff spot matter? It matters. I don't want to get into it, but it matters. Oh, no, tell me, put me on to something. <laughs> President Joe Biden unveiled this image of Galaxy Cluster SMACS0723. 
conveniently the day that his son's uh, coke binges leak. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Nah, hey, yo, yo, never mind, uh, never mind. Uh, yo, put this shit out, uh, man. Come on. He got, he got this from the Bogota. <laughs> you got that from the Bogota Oh man that's funny What y'all think they sell in the Bogota <laughs> Skag Them images right there <laughs> what you talking about? Them pictures right next to the little gas station dick pill Oh man Yo Hunter Biden's having a time Yeah yo. I ain't mad at him though Yo somebody get that man his phone back <laughs> Why they leaking all this shit out of his phone yo That's crazy uh, yeah, that's fine. Hunter Biden's iPhone was hacked and somebody is going crazy with shit he got in his phone. Word. He Word. seems to get, he seems to suffer from the same thing I suffer and oh, be punished from. Not deleting things out of your phone. <laughs> <laughs> some of this shit, they had a video of him going to weigh some some crack yeah. <laughs> and arguing about it. Nah, because the chick was like, nah, that ain't 20 grand, whatever it was. And he was like, nah, watch. And he put it on nah, the y'all. Put it on the <laughs> <laughs> well, why are you recording uh, yourself? Nah. Doing this? See, and this is where See, uh, this is, uh, if Donald Trump wasn't Donald Trump, he'd be funny. Because <laughs> yeah. now that's funny. <laughs> Where's Hunt? Where's your son? <laughs> <laughs> they was hiding out. Well, there was the report saying they was hiding his son during the campaign. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Trying to keep because yeah, they were motherfucker. Yeah. No, the crazy shit is this. Yo, you rich. Don't judge them, fucking. Yo. Don't judge them. Y'all, y'all parents now hope their friends don't run into some of y'all in the street. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you the same motherfucker that be dissing niggas for doing what your son doing. You bastard. Yeah. The nigga held up a rock and was like, yo, this piece of crack is worth five years. No parole, no this, no that. We got to get them away from our kids. That's your, your kids. That <laughs> your, your kids the that's one that's your that kids. <laughs> yeah, fuck that's you wild. About, and I'm hating on this. I don't know if my dad and them ever did this shit. Type of high crack usage, <laughs> the type of fucking savvy high crack usage is this. Or they wasn't in the projects weighing some shit. You took what was in the bag and that was that. <laughs> yeah, you pull a scale out oh, if you want, man. His room is a mess. Yeah, what is up with that? this nigga, yo? He's, a He's freak. high. He is a freak ass <laughs> nigga. Parks, he could be getting high somewhere else. He getting high in the jacks. <laughs> you see that carpet? What the fuck is you talking about? It? Nah, if he starts Yo. selling that shit in the street, calling it White House, <laughs> bro, the drawer is broken on the dresser. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is you talking about, my nigga? That's crackhead shit. He ain't yeah. got a shave or haircut. Uh, nothing. He got some crack though. Uh, Why are you recording? You got crack and hoes. Joe, Bi- Joe Biden. And some nice hoes. Yo, you got some props. <laughs> they got a couple nice hoes up there. I ain't gonna hold you. Joe Biden, Kirk Franklin, that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why is that this video? Is why nuts. is that video of him doing crack? That's what I I don't. Why get. was he videotaping all this? And shit? why does Ish want to have sex with the girls that were doing crack with him? <laughs> you see a girl doing crack, asshole. Yeah, shut up, yo. This yo, I don't know. Your, your man is. You ever been with a girl did crack? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, y'all don't know. I don't know. Nah, I, I ain't never I seen that. Have... Got it. Coke, like yes. knowingly knew Coke she for did sure. the crack. Yeah, for sure. Coke with crack. No, I don't know. She pulled a crack pipe out. I I'm, gotta go. I'm home. Gone. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna hold you. You gotta go. You home? Oh, then she gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit out of here. No, she don't wanna leave. No, you she's gonna, leaving. You gonna put her in the street? She gotta go. I don't care. Do do not. Good you crack. gotta go. I ice. Well, good crack hole every now and again. Why not? Fam, you? you getting out my crib? <laughs> you getting out my crib? I'm mad you even know where I live. Man. How, you, how you think bitches was getting skinny before lipo? Coke, mm. which is in. Mm. Coke was different though. Hunter Biden's iPhone. Was Yo, get this off my screen, please. I don't want to look at this no more. That's how Ish, that's how Ish be with the feet. <laughs> Yo, oh, that was really oh yeah, Joe, Joe, Joe. I went and did my due diligence. Mm-hmm. I listened to that Brent album, my man. I'm here to tell you, you were bugging. Hmm. The album goes. Oh no, it does go. <laughs> where I y'all t- say where it goes, it's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you exactly where it went. The trap. Nah. The trap. <laughs> that's why you called it waistline. That's what you. That's what you getting at. Yo, you nah, stupid. Nah, right, nah. right in the waist bin. Nah, nah. Oh, I man. was like, I don't know what. And the record you played, I didn't like that first one, which was the uh, the first one. Was, yeah, not good. But the other but, two was alright. Fam, this album went. You hear Ish still talking about two songs? <laughs> no, nigga, y'all don't, you played, y'all don't hear no, him. you played three songs. 
He's saying the first song you played was whack. It's, the other we two asked songs you, that you to go listen yo, dog, to Brent's you were album. Me off. <laughs> the other two songs that you played were okay. Is what he's saying. No, well, yeah, when you played those, but what I'm saying I went and listened to the entire project, and I was like, oh nah, this yeah, you love it. Yeah, I like I love this. But why do that mean I'm bugging? Because you love it. Because you made it seem like this shit was ass. No, I came in here and said how I felt about this project. And I was like, I, I wasn't trying to. I wasn't trying to convince anybody else on how to feel. Oh, you know, I, I, I relate to that. I yeah, I'm not it. trying to convince nobody how to feel. They've been in my lot. All little robots hit me and was uh, tell me I was bugging. <laughs> Fam, they've been. <laughs> they still cur- <laughs> they still cursing me out about Thor. <laughs> little robot. <laughs> 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 Screen. Not like the normal use of. <laughs> yo, uh, uh, yeah, I know it's yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, robot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just, just, you little. <laughs> let's just leave it, man. I'm not leaving <laughs> shit, you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you all you niggas being paid to tweet some shit. <laughs> nah, that's facts. Little paid. No. <laughs> that is true. The fuck out of well, here. Those are not even people. They, yeah. That's an auto tweet. Mm-hmm. Ice, we also know that when it comes to some music, me and you just ain't gonna never see eye Absolutely. to eye. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, that's true. That's true. You like, you be, you see, you, you down with these Brent. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm not. You kind of are. No, no, I'm not, though. Because you go find some obscure nigga off beat with a wild. And then be like, yo, this is that shit right here. And I'd be like, like you the, the king of finding the obscure R&B nigga. I said obscure off beat. I'm just he talking ain't about. off beat on everywhere. Shit, that nigga's horrible. He's horrible, yo. This album was good. I thought it was alright. Yeah, I didn't I, hate I, it. I, I didn't I, love I, it. I'm probably not gonna play it again, but this is not. That's much your longer. that's your politically correct way of saying, I ain't doing this with y'all. Get me out of here. I'm happy that he's doing well. I'm happy that this is selling. I'm happy y'all like it. But this is bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is some bullshit on here. <laughs> I went back to make sure. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And you, you stand in the same shit, you double down. Jamming, that like, shit is a 19 like, pack of ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just got to agree to this. Hey, Alex, I, I, I ain't even talked to you about it. What you think, man? I know that's your man. Yeah, I'm still rocking. You know? I'm still rocking. I can tell you my favorites right now. Rolling Stone. You know, Loose Change. It's all right. <laughs> Yo, Joe, relax. What's up with you, man? Two songs out of nineteen. That might be the worst music review I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> he said, it was my favorite. That, that's you. That's, that's you it's liking right. it. It's all right. I mean, I'm not trying to sway anyone. Just like how I sell. Nah, it ain't about swaying. You know, it's for me. It ain't about swaying. Yeah. Niggas gonna like what they like, and and that's fine. But shouts to him because this album's good. I was jamming. <laughs> Did you hear him? I heard that. Uh, Did you hear him? I, I heard him. He said, "Fuck you." You heard it too, huh? I heard Luther who. See, I, y'all ears is broke. You just got your eyes fixed. Get gotta them, get the ears you got to get them shits checked the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the earwax candles or, or what? Alex, you heard it? Nah, look, play Rolling Stone. <laughs> All right, but listen to this though. <laughs> <laughs> That shit is. Uh, I feel you. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I feel you on that There's particular joint. There's nothing they can tell. Me. I feel you on that particular joint. Nah. 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 I don't fight this. Just you on that particular song. I like the two that you played last week. Besides that one, that one is bad. I don't know what was going on with that. Yeah, Brown album good. Uh, nah, all right, I got you. This is one of your favorite joints. Hold up. This shit, all right. I was jamming. I like the second half of Price of Fame. That was my favorite shit. I bumped this in the sound cabin. <laughs> <laughs> so I can hear all the instruments in this fine beat, huh? Exactly. What's that, an accordion? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> See, that's what it is. He don't like, he don't like his voice. He's a, that's key, how, he's a key in this one, at that's least. That's how I know Ice Lion. His head nod is off beat. Like, he, can't, <laughs> he, can't, he can't even catch this shit. Damn. Erickson, zoom in on Ice Neck. <laughs> don't, no, don't zoom in on anything, Ice. He's in key, though. He's in key this time. <laughs> and when you got to say that, <laughs> I'm going to pass, yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell no. Nah. Shout out to Brent. Shout this out to him. Yeah. I like Brent. I like him personally, too. And I w- wish him well. But y'all better get off my dick. <laughs> and, hey, maybe two things are true. Hey, maybe I'm the old nigga that just got to stay away from this. Mm. Could be. 
Could be. It's possible. Sometimes when you used to go in the mall, they'd have somebody playing a piano. <laughs> and sometimes it wasn't tuned. <laughs> They ain't stop you niggas from shopping. <laughs> that didn't stop you niggas from surrounding the piano that you didn't know needed to be tuned. He was like, oh, shit, look, sign of night. <laughs> there you go. So Throw they little money in the case. Keep it pushing. Uh, there you go. Oh, my hey, God. Everybody don't have you on Park's ears, Joe. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Sometimes y'all start laughing. Key. Nah, that no, shit was out of key. When y'all like started laughing, I didn't know what y'all was laughing at. Nah, that shit was out of key like a motherfucker. They said, I, fuck it. I don't be knowing about the key. <laughs> yeah, key, I don't know. Out of key. Yeah. I just know some shit. You're trying to find the key. That shit, man, I'm like, good. I guess we'll just take the auto tune off, I guess. He lost his keys? Yeah. <laughs> 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 it was, nah, they was in the car. I don't be knowing about if something. Yeah, I don't know nothing. I don't care about that shit. Shit makes me sick to my stomach. No, <laughs> no, I play it for you just because it's you. Because I, because niggas was really like, yo, Brim, what the fuck, what are your bitches? <laughs> like, they was like, <laughs> never was it, oh, maybe he's not all the way in tune. <laughs> no, some niggas were saying it was trash, some niggas were saying it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> shit. Y'all not gonna keep telling me that this is me. You telling me that this is Joe. Yeah, it's me? Yeah. yeah that's I'm, no, thing. you got to get your ears tuned. <laughs> that, was, that was bad to you? The first verse was bad? And Or you saying the I'm sorry was bad? That the sucks, stacks, yo. The stacks. The stacks is not what he... This would probably be dope if the dentist is running late. <laughs> like if you just got to sit there. And you read and you read the whole newspaper already, <laughs> front to From back, cover to cover. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gear up for the pain of the uh, drilling yeah, that's yeah. gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, that shit probably do sound good if you oh, stuck man. on an airplane with fifty crying, screaming babies. <laughs> terrible, God, man. terrible, terrible. Jesus, joke. Mary, and Joseph. <laughs> God damn. <sighs> <laughs> it wasn't bad to me. Nah, this shit wasn't bad. That man. last one wasn't terrible. I uh, know. Moving on. <laughs> that first one though, it still ain't listening to the album. <laughs> he would come in hit podcast. Two, two, two records. Yo, hey, listen, man, I don't really know what you heard. <laughs> the way it was cool, he put it together, <laughs> nigga. You ain't listen to this shit. But when you just played it, that wasn't oh, bad. God, no. Oh, God. Anyway, all right, moving on, man. Um, what's going on at these festivals? They fighting. <laughs> I'm watching all festivals online from now on. I'm cool. It's probably a safe maneuver. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've seen Roddy Rich fight. Yeah. We've seen... Why he was trying to kick him like that? Fam, I don't know what's going on with these festivals. Cardi had a fight. Cardi fought somewhere or people were fighting at her show? No. She. She swung on She did not fight somebody. Look how you lie in the fucking media. (laughs) You're the shade room. You are the shade room. I'm the room. shade room. You're the ice yeah, room. You're the, you're the icy you're the ice room. room. Icy room. Frozen room. Pool. No mm. shade. Shady frost. ice. The cooler. Gosh. Cooler. All right, guys. All right, we got this. <laughs> wow, yo. Not like a fight, fight, wow. but she was involved. Oh, you Takashi now. <laughs> we uh, pl- all right. Oh, you just turned. God damn. Right. Right. Sn- what if happened? The snitches get stitches. She was involved. I don't know nothing. Wow. I don't know nothing. Who else was there? Spies get eyes, nigga. Was Hennessy <laughs> there? Oh, yo. Who was Hennessy there, yo? You stupid. Tell them what happened. I, don't, I, ain't see I don't fucking know what happened. I saw a bunch of I saw a fight at Erica Badu concert. I oh, you don't think about Erica the, the was fighting. Shit. Yeah. Oh, somebody tried to grab the mic. Somebody tried to grab the mic from her. They got and she took bad. it back. <laughs> <laughs> she gave him some pow pow. It was her mic. I mean, she just took her mic. Good. I like the way he explained that. Yeah. Yeah, she took it back. That's all. They was rocking at the Erica Badu concert. Listen, there's something in the air. <laughs> some some people been inside too long, yo. I don't know. Who the performers were in the videos I saw, cause I don't know none of y'all no more. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I made the screen big. 
I can't recognize any of y'all. I don't. Who are all of y'all niggas, yo? Hey, who is this? <laughs> all you niggas look like little caricatures of one another with a bunch of chains and designer shit on. <laughs> Oh man! Why you need to kick? You shouldn't have kicked. That's okay. All I know is well, they should get better security. Security these damn shows. Security been fucking you fans up. <laughs> nah, that's a fact. I They've been clotheslining y'all off the stage. Yo, that's what I don't understand though. Like football tackles, drop kicks. We all know some security niggas, right? Yeah. They can't wait for this shit to happen. Nah, they facts. Don't. They love it. Like I'm talking about anywhere from a club to anywhere, they love for somebody to step out of line and give them an excuse to whoop some ass. Yeah, I seen the one where Homeboy got thrown. I forgot who was performing, but he got thrown like ten feet off that motherfucking <laughs> stage. <laughs> like, Pushed why are you behind. trying security there rock. for a reason, my nigga? They're gonna fuck you up. Maybe people think they can get a lawsuit out of this. They probably can. It's a sad thing. Nah, I don't. I don't think they think that they gonna get their ass whipped that much. If Roddy Rich kicked me, and I'm a fan, I'm suing, I'm suing your ass. I don't I'm, care if your leg ain't but so damn long. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suing your he ass. He didn't have to kick him. No, he didn't have to. Kick no, him. he had to kick him. He had to kick him. That was unnecessary. You got the security for a reason, nigga. You made the box. <laughs> Hey, yo, Go yo. sing the fucking box. <laughs> Why? Do you, I don't understand yeah, I don't, these I don't, fucking I don't rappers you. and these fans. Stupid ass fans. Oh, sad face. Dirk didn't get through customs again. <laughs> yo, what's, what's wrong with you, yo? <laughs> I don't want to talk about rap <laughs> ever again. <laughs> Well, the fans love rap, Joe. So they sad they couldn't see their favorite rapper when something happened. They paid their money to see this person. All right, Ice, let's play a game. Okay, what's up? Let's play You Work Customs. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a baby. And you got a baby. <laughs> you you want to play or not? Nah? No, cool. <laughs> you win. Hey. <laughs> I know what happened if I worked at Customs. <laughs> it wouldn't be no wireless. You not get Oh, me. shit. None of you niggas. Go home. <laughs> All of y'all. As a matter of fact, put your hands behind your backs. <laughs> I ain't even a cop. <laughs> Yo, you coming with me. Step over there. Yo, come here. I heard that song, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm like the court. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I heard that lyric. Oh, Use your oh. nigga's lyrics, man. Holy Yo. shit. Dirk said it's all cap. Oh it's my not, god, it's not my the god. truth anyway. So, mm. oh, I'm talking shit. Man. Oh, that's funny though. That that's was funny. Stupid, yo. Oh man. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Wireless was three weekends. Three weekends. That's dope. Y'all went to London and showed y'all ass out there. I got the calls. <laughs> <laughs> I know what y'all was doing. Work. Yeah, I can't say. Hunter Biden. And tigers. I mean, you, you know, you out of town. Have some fun. No, London been looking real lit these last seven years. <laughs> <laughs> they on a nice this little last forty two years. <laughs> <laughs> London looks great. They on a little run. Geechee <laughs> <laughs> told Hollow, I put the Don in a box. Nineteen forty two. Oh, come on, yo. <laughs> come on. Talk about some shit. Oh, you ain't see the battles? Nah. I saw, I, I saw no. some. I ain't watched that one. <laughs> I watched Tay Rock go up there. And, and Tay Rock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. I'm telling you, that's the best entertainment you'll buy for $50 or whatever it costs. Or if you know a battle rapper. And just... <laughs> Fam, that shit is free on caffeine. Yeah, but you got to subscribe to caffeine. I do. I'm no, scared. you don't even. You just sign up. Yeah. That's just, it. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was paying them niggas. No, you just sign up, and you can watch them live. You just can't watch the replay. Yeah, no until, replays. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I, Saturday was a nice day, so I was busy. Oh, okay. I, I had to so catch. you use the app to watch the or or, yeah. or, or no, like you said, or no battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, I'll get back to my my uh, gnome review. 
Yeah, I want to watch the rest of them, but I did watch. Whew, leave him alone. Mm. Who? Tay Rock. When he when he get into that bag, just leave him alone. Kayshawn killed my man. Who? Sick. He was on it. I didn't see that. I came in late. Yeah, he was on there. That's what I asked about. <laughs> I was like, he ain't, I ain't yeah. Mm, yeah. Oh, it was that bad? You got the the funeral voice on? I cut it off. Sheesh. Damn, you lying? Nah, I'm not. I cut it off. That's your right on you. Kill my man in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help him. Type of nigga you think I am? <laughs> Sitting home helpless. I can't help him. That nigga oh, was up there man. getting his yeah, ass stupid. chewed up. Word. Well, let me shoot him some bail, and then we'll leave this. Nigga Hollow had a nice Christian bail line too. There was some good shit getting there. Um, I'll say this: greed, man. You get hot, phone start ringing a lot. You want to show up a lot. That involves writing. It's a lot of battling. Your name get hot. Some of the veterans don't like it. Mm-hmm. And now you're the Yankees. You're getting everybody's best game. Mm-hmm. So that's what's been happening with Sick. He's been taking a lot of battles with not a lot of writing time against killers. And they don't maybe like his meteoric rise or they do like it and want to end it. Like you get prosper ending runs like that. And K-Shine is DNA's man and DNA beats Sick. So he probably gave him the blueprint and some pointers and shit. And honestly... This case shine that showed up, he don't lose. This is the case shine that tore Verb up. This is the case shine from that first round against Surf, where I thought Surf was about to have. I thought Surf was dying in front of me until Surf rapped. Whew, thank God. <laughs> thank God, my man. I had some bars too, yo. Because that shit came. Hey, just go back and watch case shine round one against Surf, yo. And tell me you ain't think Surf was about to die. Tsunami Surf. There ain't nothing wavy about. Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, no! That's my man. You Don't can't do even, that. Don't you do can't that. Even, you can't even react to it if that's your man. You gotta. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've Ooh. seen a couple of them. That was the case, Sean. That nigga flipped six so many times. Oh man! <laughs> oh man! Great. Wait, what he said? No, wait. Uh, oh, I don't remember. It was too much shit. Nah, I want to see. I got. I want to see that. You still got it? Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Pass that. I'll, yeah, I'll pass that. Yeah. I need to see that. Because when Sean... He was animated. Yeah, when he get super animated... He, he don't orange, really lose if he like this. It's hard. My though. thing is, he just don't always be like Correct. this. Correct. But when he like this, look, the nigga look great. Lost weight. He's in shape. Like, look at him. I'm not battling that nigga right now. Are you shitting me? <laughs> no. I'm hot as fish grease, Sorry, I'm hanging up the phone on that. <laughs> Boom. Not to come to know him, though. Yeah. You gonna and go that. up against him. You're going to take that. You, you no, gotta, I'm not. You got to level up. No, I yeah, at the best presentation of yourself. Mm-hmm. Gnome is known. It's mm-hmm. one of the biggest events. It'll be there next year. When I show up, I have to show up as the best me. This nigga done took 90 battles in the last three months. That's a mistake a lot of And then he make. said it in the round, just when you was thinking it. He said it. Mm. You've been writing for me for months. I've been writing for two weeks. Well, nigga, why the fuck are you on the stage? <laughs> That's a mistake we've seen a lot of battle. You take. nice, but you playing with gorillas now. These ain't this ain't play play. This ain't. You take too many battles back to back. The PGs, mm-hmm. yeah, proving grounds. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah. What? Hey, the next break we take, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off for you. So <laughs> <laughs> that's my man. I ain't get to hear the third round. Mm, damn. I was not staying for the rest of that. Yeah. Sick. I love you, and I think you rhyme better than all these niggas. But chill. The bag be calling. The niggas run to it. In what? the Hollow Geechee battle, that's what Hollow brought up as well in his, in his last round. He said, you take every fucking battle. I bumped into him in Madison Square Garden. He said he had the battle tonight. I said, where? He said, here. <laughs> Wait. I said, where? Here? He said, not. Nah. Oh, no. He said, I bumped into him at the house part. <laughs> so he was battling the house parties? <laughs> Yeah, he's saying he's oh, about no. to battle at the house party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking the lineup, but 
Yeah, these new niggas, they just take too many battles. Cause they, and well, that's you tell hot. somebody to turn away, yeah, no, turn away yeah, that money. Yeah. You get hot. 20,000 in, 20, in a night. 30,000 in a night. 40,000 in a night. I got mad nights in the year. For yeah, real. Yeah. I might go in there. I'll and go. I could write some shit. I sleep with my Try to mail it in Word. and go get that 50. Well, mm-hmm. that's what we've seen happen. Niggas getting in. That's where you see the stumbles. In the, I, I don't even have time to really perfect this. Because I'm just coming off the last battle. Now I'm on this battle. And then right after this, I got another one. Geechee got busy. Geechee lost. Really? Word? This is ain't worried. Like, that ain't... Yeah, he lost. But his third round was crazy. His third round was crazy. But he lost. He lost his battle. Uh, I had Tay Rock, Tay Rock winning, JC winning, uh, mm-hmm. Hollow winning, Tay Rock winning. Did I say Tay Rock already? No, man. Tay Rock. JC. JC. JC, Tay Rock, uh, K-Shine, Hollow. Uh, but anyway... Shout out to them fellas, man. I love that watching. I'm getting more into it now. Instead yeah, of niggas. I used to just watch Surf or like the, my, my Jersey niggas. Right. Now I just watch this shit now. Mm. This shit is, I couldn't do it. That <laughs> niggas is a different. At level. all. They just a different level of creative. They control the crowd. The real good ones. And the memory shit. They control the crowd. Memorizing all that they shit? Damn, the, I the watched. Theatrics. Like when, yeah, that part. The, 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 the theatrics. The dope, yo. I got to watch the Danny battle. I didn't see it. I didn't see that one yet. Um, Who all right, Danny Myers, the white kid. No, 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 no. Who, what's the, the black white guy? Kid? We'll tell you later. <laughs> <laughs> the, white, the white boy, though. You don't always have to not know, like live. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Man. Uh, y'all want to touch that? Gillian Rick Ross. It's not really a story here. What do you said? Uh, I guess when the backstory here is. On one of them videos, maybe it was the Wayne, Lil Wayne video. I don't know, because I'm not watching this shit. Ross left a comment under one of the posts that Gilly didn't like. Uh, in his uh, in his new podcast, he's responding to it. That's uh-huh. the story. I don't know why they saying to sneak this. He didn't sneak this. He didn't sneak this. It was very direct. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything to say about this. What I will tell Gilly is that Ross is buying all those uh, animals and shit for tax purposes. For tax purposes. Absolutely. Farming. That's it. Farming. That's it. There's no way for us to know that over here with no farms. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas got farms in Jersey. Man. Now they got them oh in Jersey, Jersey, in Jersey, in Jersey, and in Western Jersey. <laughs> Niggas be doing the bees and all that shit. Yeah, and none of you niggas ever try to go half on a farm. Shut up. <laughs> 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 what? You like different heifers. <laughs> it's cool though. Yo. It's cool though. Yeah. Don't look at me. We gotta find a way to do something about that. <laughs> I ain't say that shit. No, you good. Um, what y'all think about Ma- Mario? So yeah, everybody never he- betting against him again. Oh, <laughs> Word. but he's been riding high off of the verses naturally, mm-hmm. which he should be. Yeah. And so he announced this Friday he has a single dropping. And the single features Tory Lanez. The second he announced that, it was like the entire wave just, how dare you? Yeah. They pulled up his old tweets. Whose old tweets? Mario's. What was his old tweet? He said something along the lines of, yo, I, even though I know Tory personally, this is crazy to hear that this happened. Like, you got to protect black women, something like that, uh, uh, to that effect. And people are upset that he did this, he's doing this record. Yeah, there's his old tweet. Uh, this redacted. <laughs> this situation got me in awe. Sad as fuck. Knowing Tory personally, this shit crazy to me. Black men, we gotta learn how to control our ego, anger, etc. At some point, the switch gotta turn off. Protect black women, heal black men, love and respect each other. So that's the tweet. And people are upset that you're now promoting the single with Tory Lanez. Show me pictures of the people. Yeah. I want to see <laughs> what school do they go to? <laughs> where, where do they work? Mm-mm. Where do they live? Do they have both their parents? Mm-mm. Do they have siblings? Do they have kids? Do they mm-hmm. have money? Are they broke? Do they drive? Do they take the train? Do they Uber? Were they a part of that fucking uh, door, door dash scam the other day? <laughs> Nigga, do they come outside? Yeah, I want to see them. Mm. I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm done with they. Mm. Not pronoun they. Right. And and not the group day. <laughs> you so good, some yo. days. You good. Hey, you hey, good. brother. <laughs> Gotta stay on your toes. You good. Yeah, I'm, but up that but day. Yeah, yeah, people was upset though. I'm done with that day. Them niggas ain't never listened to no fucking Mario in the first place. And that, 
I saw a lot of that. Like, nigga, all this love y'all giving him now is fake. His last songs with Chris Brown. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Love that song. That. It's Bop. Y'all ain't see y'all say shit. <laughs> and that's just a time. There was game. nothing wrong with the tweet either. No, that's no. True. If no, that's no, no, his no. man, yeah. this is a black man holding another black man accountable. True. Mm-hmm. Correct. And pulling him up, not in a Negative malicious way. sounding, nasty sounding way. I agree. Mm-hmm. And maybe, just maybe. He went and got some information or had a conversation with his man behind the scenes that makes him feel comfortable enough to make this song. I can't speak for him. I ain't spoke to him. But I know the song going to be fire. Yeah. <laughs> and Chicks Tape 3, 4, and 5 still fire. And Alone at Prom in Playboy. Oh, Playboy. <laughs> fuck out, my God. We really want to go I mean, there. We're just I talking. Mean. That nigga been on a run since. <laughs> <laughs> we really want to have that. That's a conversation there. That nigga been... Say what you want. Stupid, yo. Hey, no. Did you hear Alone at Prom? Did you, did you hear Playboy? Play that shit was fire. Y'all couldn't have heard that and think nigga, Wasteland is fire. Stop, man. <laughs> wait, don't compare it to the Wait, wait you heard Alone. Wait, 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 stop, wait, stop, wait, stop, wait, Joe. wait. Stop. I'm wait, not. you heard Playboy, right? <laughs> yes. Alex, you heard Playboy? Yeah. Oh, boy. Did you like it? I love it. <laughs> I forgot. Wasn't it one of the best R&B projects since its release? Huh? Hello? Yes. And Alone right, at Palm. That's it. Alex said he that's it. I ain't got nothing else to say. Not I pick, ain't heard nothing better than not, Alone at Palm since it dropped. R&B wise. I'm not pitting black men against each other. I'm just saying, I don't, I'm but, R&B, but period. in a constructive criticism type of way, because I saw a lot of people saying, and I'm leaving this Brent shit alone for good. I saw a lot of people saying, uh, Joe got uh, some nerve criticizing that when he bigs up mad records that's in the same vein of that. I totally disagree with that. I could not disagree more with that. And I think that's what's at the core of my problem with it. The tracks are so empty that you need a vocal to uphold it. And if it's not doing that, that's a clash. He could be the greatest guy in the world, but that's going to always sound like a clash. Party Next Door don't do a whole bunch of records where she's just dropping all the instruments out and expecting his voice to carry the shit. Neither did Bryson. Neither did any of these niggas that do that. They don't True. do it. Valid. That's, that's a good point. Anyway. But it's a sound that works for him. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not mad at him for that. You know what I'm saying? Or them. Yeah, no, get your no, shit I, off. I ain't mad at this. This is going to be fire. <laughs> this is going to be fire. Y'all can say what you want. Yeah. I'm a cop. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah, we can get into this. So T-Pain explained to academics, he says that Chris Brown suffers from princess complex. That's not a nice thing to say. I don't agree not, with it at that all. It is not a nice thing to say. It don't. It don't sound like a nice thing to say about somebody. At least call me prince complex, like something. It, it well, was, no, because that don't prove his point, I guess. I get his point, and it was... I, I disagree with it, but what he was saying was it's almost the equivalent of pretty, pretty privilege. Mm. Like, you've been getting away at doing what you do for so long that now that you do something, it's like, yo, this is supposed to work because I'm me. Mm. I disagree. I think they're here, and, and people been getting on my ass about it, Paul. It's like, oh, you claiming he's been shadow banned. You claiming this, you claiming that. Well, it has happened. I see Jermaine Dupree even put a tweet out saying, yo, I'm looking at Apple's top, top 30. 30 R&B tracks, and there's nothing from Chris Brown's album here. Not one song. He was like, Sleep at Night should be in here. If, if, if nothing else, just that. But that goes to my point about playlisting. If they don't put it in a playlist, it's probably not going to be charting. That's a gatekeeper. Yeah. Exactly. I just want to throw that in there That's as well. what a gatekeeper is. Funk Master Flex, Doesn't have that even style. if he's not playing your record, Tastemaker, not, not gatekeeper. Yes, he's not a gatekeeper. Tastemaker, though. Influ- yeah. Influencer. Influencer. Icon. Icon. No All doubt. of those no, things. Yeah, yeah. But you can get in. <laughs> right. For sure. You can get in the club. You can get in. You can try. And... You know, I saw a lot of the, because um, back to Brent's numbers, or Brent's album, his numbers was like 105 or something like that. It was, it was amazing numbers, especially mm-hmm. to be independent. Yeah. And the first thing I saw, ah, he outsold Chris Brown, ah, like like pitting up against each other. Uh-huh. Stop well, that, pitting black men against each other. Well, that same list that Jermaine Dupri put out. Brent was on number one. He was number one. He was number on one. On the playlist. It was people up there I didn't even know had songs out. Like, it was... Mm. It was a little rough. So it, it, those two go hand in hand. 
you know what I'm saying, playlisting your numbers, et cetera, things like that. But that's uh, why when another when some of these major, major artists drop and they're plastered all over the, the new music screen and the new playlist of everything, they're the top three, four records. Yeah. So let me ask you a question, because yeah. you know it's not my thing. But gotcha. How does somebody as big as Chris Brown? Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> Yeah, you ain't going nowhere, nigga. Now, how does somebody as big as Chris Brown, how does that happen to them? I'm asking out of curiosity because I don't know. Well, one, and I'm not sure. You you could rub some people the wrong Piss way. Piss off somebody. Gotcha. It could, be, it could be the label that you have your deal with. Like he's licensing his music to RCA. It could be something on their end that they haven't done. To get it where it needs to be, because that's the purpose of the major label at this point. Gotcha. Remember how, like before, years ago, the major label was the ones that would get you on MTV, BET, mm-hmm. the radio. You know, get you in these magazines. That was all controlled by the major label. Now, because you don't necessarily, there is no videos on BET, yeah, MTV, sure. radio is. You know, it's not as needed, but it's still there. So the 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 step that the labels control now is your access to playlisting. Things of these nature. So it could be something in there where somebody just didn't do what they were supposed to do. I, I really don't or know. Or they wasn't going to benefit from doing it, so they didn't do it. I mean, it's Chris Brown, so I think they would benefit. That's the partnership gotcha. agreement they have. But it's it's it could be a number of things. But when you are with a major and the major isn't doing what the major is supposed to do, it will show in your numbers. Gotcha. And in this case, it showed. Now, the reason behind that, we may never know. But I do think... When I saw Chris getting mad and uh, putting his comments up like, oh, you know, you blogs, you report on you report on me All anytime it's negative, shit. but you won't report that my album is out. I think he directed that the wrong way. That should have been directed at... Holy shit. Your label and your team. <laughs> Holy shit, yo. Uh-oh, something happened? Well, you said Brent was independent. And we know him to be independent. Don't tell me he. So one hundred and five thousand and one hundred and ten thousand sounds amazing. Pass amazing for an right. independent artist. He's fighting for number one. And number one on the little Apple list sounds amazing mm-hmm. for an independent artist. Mm-hmm. So I went to my album that I purchased. By the way, okay. You didn't just roll your eyes at the camera, did you? <laughs> and it says... With sunglasses on. Word. <laughs> 2022 Lost Kids LLC, That's which would be mm-hmm. Brent, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. marketed by Venice slash Stem. Marketed by sounded funny to me, so I went to go look it up over there okay. and learned that Venice is a music company as well as a tech company. Company and it's co founded in 2019 by Troy Carter, Jay Irving, and Susie Ryu. Susie, I am unfamiliar with. Jay Irving is a Jay Irving and Troy Carter, I am not. And Jay Irving is Dr. Jason, right? Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Two well respected long tenured executives mm. Mm. with all the pull in the universe. Mm. Yo, stop mm. trying to get me with y'all music shenanigan uh, tricks, yo. Uh. Hey, you <laughs> hyphen. <laughs> Ain't gonna get me. Yeah, y'all stop trying to fool me, man. Anyway. Yeah. That, that changes things. Come on, man. It's- that changes a lot. Because I was sitting here wondering how, I mean, I wasn't going to hate on it because if you're indie and you, you know, salute. Mm. But I was sitting here wondering how an independent artist is getting these playlisting placements. Q&A, the music technology startup founded by Troy Carter and Susie Ryu has announced Venice Innovation Labs, a newly launched software division that enables record labels to better test songs, manage their artist rosters, and distribute music easily and efficiently, according to the announcement. Do with that what you want, yo. No, mm-hmm. some read more. The third no, you gotta read the bottom. Uh, the first products to be released from Venice Innovation Labs are the stream are, are Stream Rate and Venice for Labels. Stream Rate is a mobile app that gives sentiment analysts before songs are released, <laughs> engineered, and designed for the streaming age. Venice for Labels is an interface 
That enables labels to distribute music, manage their... All right, get the fuck. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. done. (laughs) Yeah. Manage their artist roster and track splits and payments. Venice also has a premium services team for For playlisting playlisting. and strategic creative marketing available upon request. I'm taking a smoke. (laughs) Yeah. Hey, y'all leave me the fuck alone with this bullshit, all right? Yo, this what the guy. fuck? <laughs> what Man, the, what and the... I say that with all due respect to Jay Irving and Troy Carter. Please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I fuck with them. No, it's just it makes shit. I fuck with them. But you fuck with them because they both are so reputable, mm-hmm. and then you just understand. Yeah, there you go. I mean, at the end of the day, they're doing, they're, they're doing their job well. Absolutely. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, the future of music. A lot of these music companies are tech companies. Tech yeah. based. You got it. So if you have one of those, you're trending in the right direction for music in the future. And the sad truth is, if you don't have one of those, then you're doing some prehistoric shit. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. they say to all the content creators: if you're not on TikTok, then you're doing dinosaur shit. Mm-hmm. It's the same thing in this. I mean, you get it. And if you don't, then it's not time for you to get it yet. But I understand it. Now we have a, a big beef brewing here in studio. Ta-da. Come on, look how I spice up the segment. <laughs> exactly. Look, look how I, yeah, spice some shit up. Wake it up. <laughs> the fuck up, man. It's too cold. Hot no, we here, nigga. Cayenne pepper. Neo sat somewhere. See, that's why it's Cloud Chase here. You don't even know where he sat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Dead ass. You have no idea where he is. <laughs> where is he? I'm listening, yo, before I comment. Go ahead. Neo sat somewhere and said that he did not sign Lucky Day because... He let Lucky Day stay in the crib, and he went out of town one day, told him to have a blast. My mi casa, your, you casa, just don't go in my master bedroom. And Lucky Day went in his master bedroom. <laughs> Fuck some chick in his bed. Yeah, nigga, I'm Neo now. Uh, I'm Neo, and it's my lucky day. <laughs> or her lucky day. Hey. Drum roll, please. Hey, I still got it. I'm taking this act on the road. Uh, my show coming to Moment House soon. I had about nine things to spin off of that. Go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead and spin then. No, uh, look, tuck your tail. Look, tuck his tail. <laughs> tuck his tail. And Don't I'm... let me out. All right. Ice says, this is Clout Chasey, which is also marketing. Ish says, he doesn't quite view Clout this to be Clout Chasey. Mm. Which side would you like to hear from first? Ish. <clears throat> My definition of Clout Chasey is like when you're just doing some real extra shit to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Like you having a story or you telling a story, you got an album coming out. So, of course, you're going to do interviews and you're going to work the circuit. So the conversation could go anywhere. So that kind of partic- some let me give you an example because I didn't hear the whole interview. I only saw that particular excerpt. Mm-hmm. But let's just say hypothetically they said, hypothetically they said, hey, who are you feeling now? Mm-hmm. He could have said Lucky Day and then told a Lucky Day story. I don't I don't look at that as Clout Chasey. I just think that that's a story that popped up. And Clout Chasey shit, to me, is just being real, real, real extra. Can I, all right. Can I ask a question? Sure. Who are you feeling right now? And he answers Lucky Day, correct? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That Does answers, that generate a headline? That answers the question. No, no, no. Let's say he is feeling lucky day. Like I like his music, gotcha. but does that generate a headline no. like this? No, okay. right. Mm-hmm. So now, me going a step further and telling this lucky day story, mm-hmm. which will now generate, as we see, a headline. A headline. Mm-hmm. That's where the clout chase. This has nothing to do with anything. Even if they ask you, yo, what do you think about lucky day? The clout chasey part, like you said, clout chasey to you means extra. Mm-hmm. That this was is extra. extra. This That's was the an, definition this was of an extra. extra story. No, inter- this got nothing to do with no, Neil's no, album. No interview and no interviewer could have asked it because we didn't know. We didn't know. You volunteered some extra information, juicy shit. Wait, juicy shit. See, because you got to add that factor in that context. Neo is from the school of Patti LaBelle and fucking Whitney Houston in terms of the media market savvy training. Like he getting the, he's getting the questions before they, you send them. What are we talking about before that camera cut on? So yeah, you're not just gonna shock him. You're, you're saying gonna, this is someone who's interviewed Neo. One thousand yeah. percent, Neo. You can't get him tripping. When I sat with him and asked him about the uh, brimless, whatever he was wearing at the time, <laughs> he expected the question and knew that that was the headline. These people that are good, they know what a headline is and how to generate them. That's what he did. He didn't have to do that. And 
You don't have to do it when your album is coming out and Lucky Day album just came out. That's what make it. That's that's the part that made it clout chasey to me. Knowing the album that Lucky Day put out, knowing the reception it got, knowing where it placed him, you saying his name with a with a like Joe said a, a juicy story makes it clout chasey because now it's gonna grab attention. Now you got attention on your interview that you probably not. I ain't seen no other headlines from this interview. And yeah. it did, in fact, grab yeah. attention. And it became, worked. Yeah, it and, worked. And, yeah. and I'm not going to say this about Neo because his pen and hand should be in a Hall of Fame somewhere. This so is, he has yeah. proved himself. But there is an entire culture of trying to get attention from sh- anything outside of your actual talent, outside of your music. Mm-hmm. See, that's where I disagree with what you said. Hey, I'm doing an album. I yeah. got to go on my promo and press run. Mm-hmm. We got to have a conversation. Well, you're right. Mm-hmm. And if we can't have 20 conversations about your album, mm-hmm. where it came from, who's featured, what's inspired, what does it mean to you, what do you want to do next, then we about to say some bullshit. I mean, that's... But that's the generation that we're in. But we say. don't... You get what I'm saying? Like, yo... You're right. We, we had Mano uh, and Jim up here. Mm-hmm. They had an album drop. Mm-hmm. But we sat here and talked a whole bunch of other funny shit. That's us. I'm, I'm giving an example. And that's them. I know. It's a bad example. No, it's not. It's a it's a it's a it's a it's a conversation that was had amongst people and some of the shit that we talked about wasn't necessarily pertaining to their album that caught the headlines and that was funny dope shit. Like what? Because I, I didn't see none. I, I, it was definitely some. I didn't see a one I generated say, anywhere outside of this network. Yeah, us, I, didn't, us I didn't cutting see them the up and putting them out. Anything I didn't see it. no other that's place. Not, that's not true. But we're, we're asking for a headline. I, Give us one. The one with Jim Jones said, "Here, smoke Lloyd Banks boots." That made that that did not just get put out by us. That was definitely other it. Didn't places. get put out by any other top places. tier mediums. I don't know about the tops and the bottoms. I just know I saw it other places, <laughs> and it wasn't put out by us. Jim didn't sit down here during album week and say, "Yo, this is what happened with me and Freddie Gibbs." No, he didn't. <laughs> and we didn't ask him. I, I'm just giving you an example of something. You asked me to tell you something that got out to the blogs. I did. That's all. Again, I, we just got different definitions of clout chasing. Yeah, because it ain't like he sat there and told us a story that nobody knew. Who? Jim. He didn't sit there and tell no, us no, a story no. that nobody knew involving... He didn't. And that, that's what I'm saying. No, so, I didn't say... I'm saying that I, I, I didn't think what Jim did was clout chasing at all. I don't, I don't I'm saying it. me, I, my definition of clout chasing is just different. So okay. to you, but but just so we all, I mean, we'll leave this alone. But you, I'm not sure so that that's I not Cloud Chasey. Y'all Chasey. argue whack. <laughs> I'm, I mean, it, it, well, I guess at the end to, of the day, there's degrees of Cloud Chasey because I do. I think that there is uh, telling a funny story on a podcast. I think that's a thing. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's Cloud Chasey. You can tell any funny story you want about you. The second that you start including other names and other famous names at that. Then and you know what you're doing. That's where it gets you're clout chasing. Participating to me. in that culture that monetizes off of headlines and other people's names and work. And I'm and, not mad. And Neil, at don't, it. and Neil don't have to do that. He don't have to do that. But again, I'm not mad that he did it. I'm just calling it for what it is. Well, does he or doesn't he? I yeah, mean, me neither. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. That I'm, he mad did it. I'm mad he didn't tell us how he got his bed back. <laughs> Nigga, what you did? <laughs> no, I mean we I mean, talk about we just talked about the 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 <laughs> fact that music companies are delving into technology, artists and people are adapting, del- adapting into not technology but personality, Algorithm. talk True. talking. True. So I mean, that kind of for me to accept that, mm-hmm. I would have to condone this poor people, ignorant, just low hanging fruit thinking if i were to accept that that's uh-huh. exactly what the chameleon universe is about actually that's what the chameleon universe is about but, why do we have to do that why we can't get into tech <laughs> mm-hmm. that is my direct Touché. response to Touché. that Touché. i don't have to try to adapt to the tech i could try to get in somehow like chameleon Air and a few others did mm-hmm. if you really sit here with jim he'll let him get in his crypto bag oh forget it he'll go off like artists are trying to tap into other things and oh, other oh, places mean, and oh, other mean spaces. Ish has economic bag when he says the same thing and y'all argue with me. I don't understand what you're saying. Yo, I'm trying to get the bag. Explain like what you're saying. What are you saying? Good. I'm I'm agreeing with Chameleon. I think that if you're an artist in today's um climate, 
you got to acclimate to some of the stuff that's going on. If even, you're an artist, you got to figure out how to get in touch. Even, <laughs> even, if, even if you're as big as a Neo, you still got to figure out how to move around. So if you're on a podcast, because again, a podcast ain't even an interview also. Like a podcast is more than just a radio interview at Hot 97 or Power 105. A podcast is more conversations. It goes everywhere. Especially when we interview people, it goes everywhere. We start you, talking about niggas' mamas and your, your father was this and your uncle was that. Like we get it in. So I can see but how. That's, I'm sorry, my bad. I didn't mean to cut you off. But I, that's because we don't chase the salacious headline. True. No, I'm just saying, but conversation, in conversation, even with us, when we talk to each other and we know each other, mm -hmm. it pivots a lot. That's true. So certain stories could potentially come up depending on where the conversation, you could go off on a tangent. Mm -hmm. I, I would guess have to see part, it in its entirety to see how the lucky day shit That would came be up. important to me and also seeing who disseminated it. Because this is not a, in no disrespect to the gentleman in the podcast, but this doesn't appear to be a podcast I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody in this room is mm -hmm. familiar with this podcast. What, what disseminated me? Uh, spray. <laughs> did did, did Neo take this one little piece and put it on his page because he knew it worked? No. Then I would say, or did the podcast? Do they have a connection gotcha, with someone gotcha, that gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. took that one little piece and and they, sent it around? With it and they yeah. ran with it and pushed it? Then it could be something totally because there's there's That's probably true. things that happened on our interviews that someone could take and chop up and make salacious, but we don't really do that shit. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You can't edit what you don't give. True. Also true. Yeah. And he gave it. True. He did. Knowing they could edit. And someone who knows the game and knows the the media game as well as he does. Yeah. But I don't care. His album's fire. Yeah, I don't, that's I mean, what I'm saying. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really, care that he I'm did not, this. Again, I'm it not, don't hurt anybody. It don't affect anybody. I just feel like he also, didn't when, have to do When it. the topic first came up, Ish said it's marketing. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Him even telling that story is marketing. I'm, I agree. It's clout chasey, but it's still marketing. I'm not mad at it, especially There's, if the product is good. And more importantly, let me just let you know, Neo. At least six different times I've left and told a nigga, hey, yo, hold it down. Just don't go in my bedroom. And that's the first, that's the first place to go. <laughs> They're going in there. They're trying to crack your safe no, combination. On no full size. Wear your guns. Nigga ain't on no full size. Wear your drawer. <laughs> no. He's yeah. in there snooping, showering your shit. <laughs> see, see I know he's got the good soap in there. See what type of soap this <laughs> Look at the type of soap this nigga on in here. <laughs> Scrubbing with your, your, your squishy it. shit. Yeah, your loofah. Yeah, your loofah. Yeah, putting your loofah on there. Balls, yeah, disrespecting your friendship. Right there. That's what you gonna do, nigga? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Right and there's also levels to cloud chasing because I would not put this on the same level as some of the uh, redacted. Oh yeah, things that redacted For does sure. or For redacted sure. or redacted. Any of these people that do For like sure. the most foul, flagrant, For sure. crazy shit in the world just to all get cloud clear. chasing. Ain't bad. Bop, 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 to bop, me, bop, all I, cloud chasing. I, is not I bad. interject to spice interject. up. I love argu go. arguing with Parks. Cloud chasing, and I'm going over what you just said. Yeah. That's not up to how you receive the act. Okay. Right? Like you just said, like give me an example of that. It's uh, homeboy that went to the uh, uh, murals and yeah. posted up with yeah, a yeah. bunch of security guards in a place that he had beef with the kid or whatever it was yeah. and disrespected. Mm hmm. It's, level, to, it's, cloud chasing. it's definitely that's level. like some that's a different level of cloud chasing than saying lucky day at 20 something was fucking a girl in my bed and he was my man and he gave him props yo he wrote jamie fox's verse on uh the remix with fat he also made it clear yo he was he was young this is mad years ago this is 20 something years 10 years ago whatever the fuck it was like he made sure like yo this is not lucky day of today this is lucky day a long time ago no don't, don't tell me about it today <laughs> <laughs> man, i feel you i feel you Especially I knowing, you. again, I think there's this is stuff. somebody that's in that same lane who has a project that was just put out that was received the way it was received. So, yes, you saying his name is going to generate some type of attention. True indeed. That, that, that part, to me, is what makes it clout chasing. And again, not all clout chasing is bad. I'm not mad at it. I am not. I don't think he's out here, yo, what could I say to get a headline? No, I'm not saying it in, in that sense. But I knew what was going to happen when I told that story. That's all. True indeed. Which makes it clout chasing. Now you got to have a versus against Lucky Day. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a bad day. <laughs> it'd be a very bad day. Unlucky day. Worst day. will not be lucky that day. <laughs> no, it'd be worse day. <laughs> that nigga will run a black cat across his path. He'd be so unlucky. <laughs> Crazy. They are in different um, well, they better stay generations. Different. Whatever it is, they better stay different. Don't even put they're their names together. They're in different generations. All right, so don't put their names together then. I didn't. He did. 
I'm telling you, he you did. Don't put it in a verses. And that's did. the thing. You no, did. no, I did not. You just said you just have nobody verses. even have thinks it ain't two them that. two names together if you don't say it. That's how thoughts work. <laughs> ain't nobody think of them two together in a verses but you. And you was joking. You knew better. You knew better. You were clock chasing. What y'all think Lucky Day was trying to do getting in his bed fucking that girl? It was a versus. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was a versus. <laughs> If you tell me not to go in your bedroom And you go to work That's old school And I go in the bedroom And fucking there And you catch me What you think this is It's a message You'll be hitting it like this in this bed You ain't make that bed move like that I'm my fingerprints on your headboard though What you gotta do about it What you gotta do about it Condom in this bedside garbage Condom Oh, oh, you're right. Oh I know it. <laughs> <laughs> my fault. This nigga was stupid, yeah. I said my bad. Uh, shout out to Neo, yo. Neo was great. And Lucky Day. Yeah, shout out to and both the, the, the podcast. And the girl. And the girl. <laughs> he said they popped the same girl. I didn't never oh. said the same. You said the same <laughs> girl. Look at your imagination <laughs> going to work. Look, yeah, you look at your imagination you the girl, going. Like the girl the, and Lucky Day popped pop, in his bed. She, popped, yeah. she, she was in the old bed. Yeah. Love a girl that'll fuck somewhere she ain't supposed to. Facts. <laughs> like the car. Man, the park. Car. Yeah, you're not supposed to fuck in a car. Restaurant. <laughs> at all. All right, oh, that was you over there at uh, Brooklyn Chop House, huh? Yeah. Wasn't me. Hey, they <laughs> wasn't even in the bedroom. You fucking restaurants? Is there a word for that? <laughs> Yo, this was wild. Well, you're a real <laughs> restaurant tour. Club, <laughs> club bathroom. <laughs> the hell is wrong with you? And New nah, York, the club bathroom's gross, too. And New York's so, restaurant the uh, club? week is coming. Yeah. Nah, you might go club close. bathroom. Well, I guess it depends on the club. It definitely depends on the club. Because some of them club, club bathrooms, bathrooms be the crazy. It depends Every on the amount bathroom. of alcohol in your system. Well, that's what you talking about. What kind of alcohol, too? There you go. Too much kill you. Have you? You killing it anyway? <laughs> All right. So what else is important <laughs> or unimportant for that matter? Uh, I have some unimportant have, shit, but I, I don't need I, to throw it out there just yet. Oh no, you're, I'm ready for your unimportant. I have an unimportant one. Let me hear yours. You go first. Parks. Let's they're, hear yours. They're putting contraceptives for squirrels out in, in the public. <laughs> <laughs> they take the nuts from the squirrels. <laughs> In this in this Roe v. Wade what? environment yeah. we live in, they're secretly drugging the squirrels with birth control. What, Why the squirrels can't fuck? The squirrels just trying to get a nut. Nah, they can fuck. They can't get the nut. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. I always knew this was the future of podcasts. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, I'm really fucked up over this. What, what's wrong with the squirrels fucking? And I knew we'd be the ones to take it. It might, be, it might be too many of them. What was the headline who, saying? Who are we to say that? The uh, scientists designed contraceptives to limit Gray squirrels. That's oh, maybe you. your girl is a scientist. <laughs> oh, she don't want. Wow, yo! How could she not want gray squirrels? Oh shit! Now we're at. Uh, you think oh, their dicks is too big to be gray? We gotta, we gotta have a conversation. Oh now. man! You compare oh, me to the squirrel. I don't understand yeah, this. Somebody explain what. what Apparently, the, the squirrels are in fact overpopulated. They're overpopulated, so they're trying to control the population. So they're giving them <laughs> slipping a little BC uh, in the, uh, in the uh, acorns. See? But. See, all right, all right. I don't want to put the ten foil hat on, but Whoa. if they doing that to the squirrels, mm. and they've been saying and we've been be overpopulated, come on, dog. This just a test to see if it's gonna work. Mm. And then y'all all every day stay I away from the acorns. Hey, hey, ATSK, get ready to bleep me out. Every day I think the vaccine was more and more bullshit. I'm man. glad you do. I, 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 you read my mind. Thank you for bleeping me out. I wish they'd tell me if it was oh, wait, y'all, see, y'all see they say they got the new COVID coming that your immune system can't beat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How they know it's coming? It's more. It's they, called they, 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 no, it's no, no, a, I called them and said, no, no, y'all no, gonna no, be no, there. No, 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 the telescope shit. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. They said, okay, this one's ready now. They said it's immune evasive. Yeah, we good. I didn't even know what that meant. Immune evasive. Jump around. What the hell? It's like the tree. Fucking dumb. It's coming. bullshit, bro. If it come again, man, it's just got to meet me in the room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I'm not getting no more boosters. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm done. done. I'm done. Put your hands up. Boost your crackhead uncle. <laughs> don't boost me. Hey, don't don't boost me. Uh, man, I'm done. I'm not. Boost, I'm not getting no more. Yeah, yeah no. I'm not boosting nothing. Yo. Nah. We just gonna catch it at this point. Yeah, yeah. monkeypox. I was talking shit. to my moms. My moms had over. COVID a couple weeks ago. She's like, um, yo, so you hear they saying in New York everybody needs to wear their masks and everything indoors and outdoors. I'm like, why? She's like, because there's a new strain coming out now. She was like, well, I don't have to worry about it because Broke I just had COVID. So I'm good. Mm-hmm. For about 90 days, I should have immunity. I said, but if there's a new strain, 
and you ain't been exposed to that, you might be fucked up. That, that, is that what it is? That's what it is. Is that? Uh-huh. What, oh shit! The boss is here. <laughs> is that? Is that what it is? <laughs> oh man. Oh my God, what's going on? Oh man, <laughs> got some company. Let me stand up and get get a sky a hug. Ugh. 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 Hey, yo, you keep some fly shit on. I know that motherfucking. Hope don't play. Yo, I know you keep some uh, exclusive shit on, man. Hey, Joe, all right, all right. Hey, what's good, boy? Oh, what's going on, man? man? How you? Oh my. Oh, let me move my, move my shit. Put this back here. Oh man, this is this is amazing. Yo, yo, chill out. Now nah, you might have come sit right down. You ain't got do you feel do you feel pressure because uh, Hovain is in the room currently? Do I feel pressure because Hovain? Hey, he nah, manages your your, your coat. Yeah, you know I mean, I don't know who Hovain man. <laughs> <laughs> yo, it's old. It's, it's not. It's not even real. Look good to me. <laughs> Right, so you had some unimportant news to uh Yeah, yeah, what are your unimportant news? That was very unimportant. Yeah, yeah. But somehow very important. <laughs> All right. Unimportant news by Joseph Anthony Button Let's Jr. Go. I don't know if I could beat Parks. Parks might have won this one. <laughs> I think he did. Parks that shit, won. Cause that I, shit was important. I think Parks won this one, yo. That shit was important though. So yours could really be unimportant and you could still win. Mm. I still got a shot. You got a shot. All right. Dig deeper. Pause. <laughs> yo, well, what's up? Unpause. Speaking oh, shit. of digging deeper, mm. I went on Instagram, posted a funny little meme. Mm. They canceled you? I thought it was hilarious. It resonated with me. I identified with it, and I laughed for a long time. Can you tell us the Screaming, meme? Screaming, I don't need you to try to emphasize my story. Get the fuck out of here searching around on the screen. <laughs> nah, joke well, it. at some point, I will. Okay. And then okay. you'll search. Okay, got you. And I put up a little meme, and it said... It was a picture of a baby. And it said, this is me at 2 a.m. looking at the little Indian niggas build a pool. <laughs> I'm just putting a round of applause for our, our, our guest that has joined us. Not the Indian niggas? <laughs> and them. Right? We're yeah, going to introduce be, be our... Rolling, it was a horrible introduction. Yeah, We're going to introduce him correctly yeah. right after this very unimportant story that you will have to sit through for two seconds. And a lot of people hit me back and laughed. Mm. Ha ha ha! I seen them too. They be wildin', son. But then it was one dude. Mm. Fuck your head up. That said, "Hey, you seen a story going around about them niggas being a fake, right?" It wasn't our guy, was it? And then somebody else popped up and said, "Yo, all over Twitch, they saying these niggas is frauds." I said, "You a liar! <laughs> Send me a link." And they sent a link. Sent a link. Nah, Joe. Oh, no. It says that our primitive guys. little guys are out there perpetrating a fraud and lying. They, be they provided people? visual proof. They said these are teams of 10, 12, 15 <laughs> people oh, out shit. there doing digging with industrial machines. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they got a backhoe out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they I said in some of these videos, like, you can see the third nigga hiding in the side over there. <laughs> They said the little oh, sticks they use, <laughs> and they show the stick marks when they digging. You can see the machine marks right next to it. Oh, like man. Man. they he, said, you supposed to call that for yeah, us? Who oh. you? you. I, fuck, I fuck with them little niggas. I seen them make a pool in Africa in the middle of the desert. Now they also <laughs> said, a nigga made an oven. Now I thought <laughs> something was funny about this. What <laughs> you talking about? I did yeah. think something was funny because there's about twenty of them primitive pages, and they all do over fifty million. Mm. And these two little dudes. I don't, know, I don't know if they was doing all that. I thought there was some backing. I just didn't know. So they went on to explain how most of those spots where they build that are privately owned, it's privately owned land. Oh, shit. <laughs> they probably by don't. the developers or by company X such and such. Mm. And they just broke this whole thing down and made me feel really stupid for believing that these two dudes were actually doing all of that digging and making pools with no water supply now that I'm in sight. That, I don't know if any of y'all have ever even attempted to dig a hole before. That's a big ass fucking hole. Shouts to the scammers. Yo, they man. also they also brought up that water and mud is not how you make cement. 
<laughs> nah, they be doing more than that. Damn. That's I'm a, just telling you, nah, watch it for yourself. That. Erickson, I'll send you the proof vid. But just like Santa Claus is not real, the little South Korean Indian dudes <laughs> building pools and shit is not real. I'm really sad. I was that. very sad about that. Not, now, sho- not shocked. Now. Shouts to the scammers, man. Everybody, shut the fuck up. Huh? Turning it on now. Let's go. <laughs> not let's go. You picked you L's. Mm. Not he, let's he's go. aggressively dusted off Not the let's go. He <laughs> heard that shit. I picked Jim. <laughs> we had, yo, dog, I'm just trying to introduce. He heard that shit. A guest of mine. He ain't like that shit. <laughs> we have the man. Put the shit, hater blockers on. The myth. Man. The legend. The hermit himself. I think last time I saw this guy was the passport office. <laughs> they suspended my shit for child support. <laughs> I couldn't make my little London run wherever I was going. Going as, oh shit, Lloyd Banks is in here. <laughs> I always bump into this guy at the weirdest of places. He doesn't come out, but he's here today. And he's a very humble man, but I ain't. So I'm going to talk shit. And pretend that it's him. <laughs> and we're going to spice this up a little bit. <laughs> Two weeks ago, on the way here, Lloyd Banks, Ice asked me what guaranteed point Lloyd Banks has. Use your button. In a versus. Didn't even got to acknowledge him right now. <laughs> I could not believe That's what right, sunglasses right, right. he for. said that. He asked me if the victory freestyle was a guaranteed point. It is. It is. Yes. That's what I said against. I'm not asking I know, you I know. shit I know. inside, nigga. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm not asking you nothing. All right. <laughs> I not only was there for this. I was right, outside. Right, right. I wanted to I see this outside. nigga when right. this dropped, man. Oh, my God. If I want it, I'm going to have it. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> Trying to stop me. PLK himself, self, self, self. Uh oh. You, nigga. Ice. You, nigga. I never heard Don't sing the words, you, Ice. Oh, I'm the wrong Don't one. sing it now, nigga. Sing Dipset Anthem, nigga. <laughs> Shout out to Master P. I had them sneakers, too. I kind of can't cut this off once it come on. I had them sneakers. <laughs> No, 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 Ice. You probably did. Ice, no, I, Ice I we not it. here to be friendly to with you, yo. We oh, not this, here for that. I'm the ops? Yes. <laughs> Ice, you the ops? You, you no, he the, said I'm the ops. I ain't you, the you ops. A, you went against the king? Listen, man, I, I, I'll make my point when, when the time is right. The time is right. It's here. No, He's here. Let me get into it. Oh. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we, introduce him yet. we have Lloyd Banks, PLK himself, here on the couch. I've begged for this man to pay a visit for years. Pause. Hovane, thank you. <laughs> Super manager him fucking self. We appreciate you. Banks. To my credit, I haven't been anywhere else. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. Right. I know. I was watching. I was looking. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking around. That, that's for one. For two, this is the first stop. Let's go! No, no, Come on. Give me some. Hey! Yeah. Now I appreciate that being that I have some really disrespectful co-hosts or at least one. <laughs> Claims to be your friend too, I think. Now I don't, but I don't like that about niggas. Like when the artists come, and I've seen it before. Like niggas switch it up sometimes. I'm still standing where I stand. Well, where, where, where? I said, y'all know what I said. And I'll say I don't it know again. what you say I'll, to his face. Yeah, I, 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 say it to his face. <laughs> say it to his face now, nigga. I'm here, inside, listen. nigga. <laughs> Yeah, this is what being outside is like. All you right, so can I talk? Are you going to shut up? Bring me up to speed. I need to know All right. what's going on. Jim sat here. <laughs> He's so cool. Jim <laughs> sat here and said he would clean you up in the verses. Nah, it started it with Jewels. Yeah, it didn't well, start with Jim. Well, it started with Jewels first. Right. It didn't start with Jim. Well, started we were talking about the, yeah. The, the, the niggas was tossing it back and forth. Exactly. Jewels versus Jew. Jewel said he was looking for you. Right. Uh, and, and he totally disregarded Memphis Bleak. I took offense to that because so I did. fuck with Bleak, so that was the conversation. Uh, but we eventually got back to Jewels and Banks. I asked everybody to pick a winner. Uh, Ice picked his. I don't remember theirs, but I was a little confused by it. So then when we had Jim here and Mano, I asked him, just shits and giggles. He supported his man like he was supposed to, and he said that he would be victorious. And I was like, 
maybe this is like the Brent album and I'm just in my <laughs> own fucking world here. <laughs> Why do you think people have you fucked up this way? Because I played... Oh, wait, the, let me... Let me yo, hold no, on, don't hold on. cop, no, please. <laughs> I'm not copping the please. You ain't let me yeah. talk. No, I've been I, trying I, to talk. I can yeah, explain yeah. it. I can explain it. I've trying to talk. Now, I've said... When Jim said that, I agree with Jim. I have Jim winning that versus. I'm going to say it, the man is sitting right here. Jim has... Better plant your feet. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I got, I got Jim winning that versus. I ain't saying it's a mop, but I got Jim winning that versus. Banks, why you think people got you fucked up this way? And do you think people got you fucked up? I think the the correct question is, do I give a fuck? No, mm. the answer is no. That, that's we know that. for one. No, you don't care once about we that. Get, I really don't care. We know. <laughs> you know you don't care I, about I think shit. people know that yeah, about yeah, you. Yeah, we. You I do me. think people know that. <laughs> With that being said, we can't go back and uh, and change history. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I landed where I'm at right here, this day, from the animal I was when I came into the game. But everybody's entitled to their opinion. Yo, this nigga talk is like the Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Everybody's entitled to the... I'm not going... You know what I mean? You're supposed to feel like that as exactly. an artist. Exactly. Absolutely. But, um, yeah. Would you put your money on it? Mm. Is the question. Are you asking me? Yeah, he ain't asking you, me. I'm talking to you. <laughs> yeah, I would. I would. How much? I think, I, think, I think Jim would do it. I still got Jim winning. Yes. I think when it comes down to... Like, they brought up... Uh, Karma, okay. as as like a damn near guaranteed point. What's beating it? Some in Miami is going to beat that. No. Some in Miami is going to beat that. That's what I'm dealing with. I thought there was a better answer. Okay. This is what I go I through. This is what I go through. Okay. Up here. I'm just. This is what I go through. Hey, <laughs> listen. I. If you was gonna pull some dipset anthem or something, yeah, you know I mean, nah, like I'd be nah. like, oh, yeah, I mean, that's that's a tough one to one. Hey, it's it's his opinion, brother. It's my opinion. Yeah. Yeah, you know, well, we cannot I, like I just think opinion. I think versus is something different. I think that nobody in their right mind gonna say that Jim can rap better than Lloyd Banks. Nobody, right? As respectfully, as, yeah, respectfully. yeah, respectfully, respectfully, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but as far as a versus goes, it's other shit that goes into a versus. We just saw Mario smoke a Marion's boots mm -hmm. based, based on, on skill. based off performance skill. Based off his performance. Not just, have you skill. seen me perform? Of course. See, no, 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 let me, <laughs> let me hold on, hold on. Let me. No, no, no. Okay. That's not wait, where you're going to lack at. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Have wait, you wait. seen me perform? Wait, you know wait. I. Yeah. <laughs> no, from what crowd? Sony Hall, the last time you did it. Was it sold out? It was sold out. Okay. And he said you ain't lose your breath. Hey, you exactly. Did I, did I give him his prop? He gave him his prop? I said, yo, that's the one thing. What I, when I thought about it real quick, I he said, did. I was like, you know what? He said, yo, your breath control was crazy. recently. An hour and a half. And he went straight through. He and I said, if that Banks is on that versus stage versus what I saw in the dip set versus, mm -hmm. it's going to go different. I think a lot of things go different. I said it depends that, on if the 40 year old is in listen, there. Listen, listen, that, can I hear from him? That's <laughs> a, that, that if doesn't even really make sense to me. Did you see a hype man up there? No. It's been that way for 20 years. So if you're asking me if I'm going to be that guy, I'm that guy every show. Whether it's 2,500 people, 25,000 people, 50,000 people. I've been in front of 70,000 people. My voice reaches all the way in the back. So when they, so were, ask, when they were asking me about your biggest records or what your guaranteed right. points were, I'm, I'm unable to answer it because I spent my youth hating on you. <laughs> <laughs> like, when you was catching them joints out the bar, <laughs> like, turn that fucking radio off, right, nigga. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but I would assume Karma's one of them. Yeah. I don't know if that's even the, the yeah, biggest. He's not the biggest. It was just a record. Oh yeah, but just like I mean, metric wise, I'm not. I don't mean like opinion oh, based. Okay. Like which gotcha. records oh. have performed the best. Like I like. I love started, started up. up. Yeah, started up. I right. think would be and, a biggest uh, single. Right. No, started up. Started. I up don't is, know. Started up. Your biggest single. Definitely singles? a big record. But Karma is one of them joints. I I performed that record. Russia. That's your timeless. Africa. Universal. Yeah, yeah. Like that's mm -hmm. that's Asia. any crowd record. Yeah, that's it. Don't crowd. matter where you drop that, mm -hmm. they're gonna sing along with it. And this is the part that a lot of people don't factor in with me and my records. I wrote them all. Mm. I think so. I feel like you might have wrote some other things too. When you hear the that yeah, but when you hear the choruses from you know Avon or the Kerry Hilsons and these the Jeremiah's, I wrote all that the whole mm. song. So that has to factor into these verses as well. <laughs> 
Cause hold fix that. your fucking yeah, mouth next that. time. Hold that. Honestly, dead ass, yo. Damn. I'm so phony. Yes. I don't <laughs> care. I don't care. It's all good. Man. All right. So you got an album coming out Friday. We'll get to that. Mm-hmm. Right. We both got signed way back when, and now here we are. Tell me about everything that happened in between. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were signed before me. Yeah, yeah, I got signed first. That's why I was hating. It's, <laughs> yo, it's crazy because on, on the way over here, you know, Vane was playing like some of the uh, the older freestyles, uh, the one through four All Star tapes and stuff. And um, I remember the first time I heard you, it was on that freestyle over that freeway, uh, Beanie Siegel beat. What we do. Right? Mm-hmm. The one, two. Oh, no. Uh, coming, coming, for coming for you. Coming for you. That yeah, was right. the first time I heard you, I believe. I, I forgot what tape. It must have been a Clue tape, right? Maybe. That that circulated in Queens before Clue played it. Oh, no, it was a Clue tape. That was a Clue tape. It was a Clue tape. That was a Clue tape. It was like either one or two. I was like, and at that point, I was mad in my, you know, in my head. Like, damn, I need that spot. Well, don't be mad when I'm broke. <laughs> like, shit, I was still trying to Brother, if you was broke, I was beyond broke <laughs> No, no I get it. See, that was the good old days That was the, that was, I missed that Man, that was a crazy time, man Don't you miss mixtapes? Yeah, hell well, yeah, I miss mm-hmm. mixtapes yeah. Yeah. I took them for granted at the time, too Because at yeah, some point, I, I was kind of tired did. of them You know what I'm saying? I wanted albums from people nah, like, y- y'all, Both of y'all on this ones. couch I was like, damn, I want to hear like albums from y'all I'm See, tired of the freestyle The whole show. album I did was so far-fetched for, yeah. for people like me at that time yeah. And me Right Like to even think That I was gonna have An album That the world would hit Yeah I didn't even see past A 25 block radius right. Let alone the world Right Case in point First time I went to Flex And did that freestyle That legendary freestyle First time G-Unit went up there That's all new material mm. I'm, I'm actually You remember to, that one I'm trying I, to You remember that one I remember that one I'm trying to put it together On the ride there Mm-hmm. That's why if you go back and listen, it's a few stumbles mm-hmm. because it was all new raps. Yeah, but y'all mind, killed them stumbles. Word. In my mind, my hood heard my raps already that mm-hmm. I've done on those mixtapes. So Prior. old or something, so you couldn't do it. So I felt like I couldn't hear, yeah, forgetting yeah. how many listeners is in New York. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Millions. Uh-huh. And I'm worried about my 25 block radius. Mm-hmm. So, I think a lot of people get caught up in that, though. Even today. Like, yo, this shit's old, whatever, whatever, because you played it for your homies. Not a lot of people because a lot of people don't have that much material yeah, to be able to, you know, improvise and say, scrap these 10 verses. I'm going to write 10 more True. between yesterday and today. And I'm going to go up there. And, and my memory worked a little better then. Mm. And I still was stumbling. Mm. But it actually, to anybody who, you know, wants to get to that platform, it actually felt like you were talking to 7 million people. <laughs> mm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when this mic goes hot. Yeah. <sighs> You know, you know, they on the other side listening, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you should know. <laughs> yeah, should be a, nah, little, a lot of people. Yo, so but then they was hot as fish grease too. Yeah, mm-hmm. they was hot as fish grease. But you got at that point, we ain't going nowhere. I haven't been nowhere yet. You know what I mean? We talking about maybe club speed, uh, exit, mm-hmm. and maybe a few others. But we didn't go anywhere outside of that region. And I made sure I I got all of my just do with my hood. Mm-hmm. You know, from from everybody. Cause that's what we did it for. We wanted to, even those earlier mixtapes were to get the bragging rights and just the respect from my peer. You know, people I went to, I'm not that far removed from school at that point I got signed. Mm. You're talking two or three years later. You're telling mm. niggas, yo, watch, watch, watch. And then it, it, didn't, it wasn't a long wait. Mm. When did you start rapping? How old? Maybe 10. <laughs> 9, 10. What about you, Joe? Start rapping? Yeah. Like trying to write one? 13, 14. I was singing at 10. Mm. That, makes sense. that makes sense. I on the sparrow, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> singing in the church. To the cigarettes hit. I started real early, man. And, and no, I was on drugs for cigarettes. I should have <laughs> I should have known that question was going to happen. I should have brought my books. Like, I still got my books from that moment. For Ooh, old. NFTs. Yeah. <laughs> that, that victory shit, I, got the, I still got the book. Wow. Shit. Do you still write? Shit. By yeah, hand? I still write. I, I mean, I fuck with the phone, but I go back and write just for me to have it because what's the point of me having get shot the fuck up? Or You know what I mean? Yeah. What's the point in having all of that if I'm going to stop? You know what I mean? So I'll just keep writing it, add it to the collection. That shit dope. When you like when you see the shit that Pac, you know what I mean? Right. And he scratch it off and then write some new shit. Right. That right. shit is dope. Right. Well, y'all got global quick. <laughs> 
Yeah. yeah, that's why I'm saying it wasn't it wasn't a lot of time, man. Like I said, my first show went from you know me actually seeing people I went to school with to just not recognizing anybody. Mm. You know what I mean? Like just skin complexion, you know, uh, yeah. race, everything. It just yeah. was like damn the women. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like the first um the first big concert I went to, I think it was M was on. Uh, <laughs> Damn, <laughs> yeah, it was in the, Jersey. Is the subtlest flex of all, the coolest flex. <laughs> Yo, the first like big concert. No, I didn't, was I didn't Eminem. perform. Oh, okay. not perform. Oh, just, okay. just to actually watch. It gotcha. was, I forgot. I think it was the Eminem show, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. So I saw that. I was like, God yeah, because Eminem show is what O two. Yeah, it's almost yeah, somewhere there. Yeah. Somewhere and there. I watched it from the uh, what you call it, the sound stage mm-hmm. thing. Mm. So you were signed already. Twenty five thousand people. 2025. Well, it was in Jersey. It was a lot of fucking people. That was probably more than that. Jersey? Pyro and all that. It was oh, crazy. Yeah. But, you know, my my experiences date back to, like I said, probably around 10, 11 years old. Like wow. The first time, the night Tupac actually passed away, I was on my way to Nassau Coliseum to see uh, Nas, the Fugees, uh, Bone Thugs in Harmony, mm. and uh, the firm. Keep sweat. That that clip kind of went viral with Ed Lover when they gave like the moment of silence. Yeah, mm. I, I was there for that. Wow. So on the way there, I believe Angie Martinez, she was um, announcing it on the radio. Man, and shit was crazy. The whole like LIE, everybody was pulled over. Like nobody was driving. Everybody pulled over to the sides of the roads, and and just was outside their cars. People crying and shit. Mm. So we know this on the way to the concert. Shit. People in the building don't know yet because it ain't no damn. So internet, it ain't nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Got, phones. got your news on the radio, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah. so we walking in there and we kind of like spreading the word, people talking, and then when he announced that on that stage, like the whole stadium, you you felt it sink a level. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just yeah. imagine, like King Kong just sits on the roof, like it felt word. like that. Took the. But well, we kind of understand because we was on the road when Nipsey died. Yeah, word. And that whole building was heavy. <laughs> that was a weird. That, that was, I remember that was the pop shit though because Angie was broke up. Angie was real. Angie was fucked up. It was crazy. Angie was fucked up. And it's like it all goes in like I actually seen Tupac like even before that, you know, in Queens performing. I seen Mm. Fat Joe perform early on. When you're ten years old starting to rap, who did you want to be? That's tricky, man. (laughs) Because it was different stages. Mm. My T V was uh not the shit on your laptop, but my T- my TV <laughs> was the size of this laptop. Thirteen you know inch joints, right? Yeah, I think I all our shit was about that. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I had like, a thirteen. I had unless you was rich, you, you had a maybe twenty seven inch tops. Yeah, like, so I got I'm the sitting there locked up. into that. You know what I mean? It was a mixture of that and maybe like at the time maybe like Thundercats or some shit. No, I don't know. Up. But that's what it was about right there. Me stuck in that TV watching Rock Kim that fucking video kicking the speaker. Mm-hmm. Whenever that shit came on, I'd just be on the floor, just stuck. Mm. You know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. waiting for it to come back on. So it was between Rakim, Slick Rick, played a man. Cool G rap? Cool G rap too, but That's just like for me, it was Rakim, Kane, Slick Rick, Diggy, mm. Nas. Mm. Who impresses you today? In what way? Rapping. Lyrically. Lyrically. Rapping. Just rapping. And, and just, just, that's it. Um, and if it's nobody, that's fine, too. Nah, it's, it's people out there. Some of the, the ugly face comes on when you, when you press play. I don't get that. <laughs> it's a shame. I'm, I'm going to keep it real. Yeah, yeah, but I don't true. think they're trying to give that. That's true. Right? And, and it's funny because somebody, I was talking about this earlier, like, who, I might not even give you that now unless I intentionally want to do that because mm-hmm. when you coming in, you got that aggression, that 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 honest ignorance, right? Mm-hmm. Like I have punchlines and things that might have insulted people, mm-hmm. but it was coming from just a very organic place for me. You know, people yeah. are like, oh, how you think about that shit, yo, dog? That's just my personality. Right. You know what I mean? Like it, it's like this for me, but the older I get. My content is changing, it's maturing and things, so I'm not really going for that. Mm-hmm. So a lot of these artists now, not a lot of them. They reach. But a lot of the bigger artists now don't come from the same type of 
upbringing, like mm. even the entrance into this. Like when I came in, it was like this guy, uh, you know, Jada Kiss. You know mm. what I mean? Like mm. it, it was, it was competitive killers. at that killers. time. Like yeah. you, you, you had to, but even just a spitter. If you was just like a spitter, regular. You know, like you could get away with it now. Right. They, they would have, man, listen, man. Nah, these dog. Them, they you, you, you couldn't died last. Out they couldn't last. Uh, with, with you would have died that, out that there. Them clue tapes wasn't for play play. Facts. I'm no telling you, when the new clue used to drop, niggas in our hood used to go get a car wash, an outfit, and you would rock that fucking tape for the whole week, week and a half. You would know every fucking lyric on the tape. I miss that too. Every lyric on the tape. I miss Ooh. like being outside and, yes. and, and hearing the music. Summertime. You know? mm-hmm. Ever since court, like iPods right. and box. all that shit, yeah. it's just kind of like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. The, everybody's in their own world now. Back then, it was like out of ten people, one one person had a a, a CD player. Yeah, yeah. Nah, just like a Walkman. Or we something. Had Walkman. Oh yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't ten niggas walking down the block True. with Walkmans. Facts. How old are you? At that time? <laughs> no, I'm saying that forty. All right. No, I'm just trying to put it in perspective of like the era. Yeah. But you learned. Tell me about your learning process to make a song then. Because then you learned okay. it. You learned it and got a grip on it quick. All right. So coming in to mixtapes, right? Like starting from like Cut Master C and The Clues and uh, DJ Absolutes. And, mm. and this is like um, even before like Bad News dropped and things like that. Watching 50, to be perfectly honest with you, that was like, and he wasn't just like, a writer, he was an exceptional songwriter. So, you yeah, know what I mean? Like sure. just conceptually and Organizing. just sticking to the whole, you know what I mean? Yeah. To the subject matter, yeah. which was like a plus for me because, you know, you're looking around the game, it wasn't many like that. Facts. You know, like some still, of the biggest still, artists still, weren't yeah, the best still. songwriters. Yeah. He was. Just spoke on that So earlier. everything from... Uh, what a cheat code. Right. Fuck. So from the intro, from the introduction, intro, what you say in the beginning... Right, mm-hmm. uh, where the pause. Uh, a lot of people are not good at that. Talking what, shit at the intro, opening, opening, opening bars. Right. So, and that's how I write. Mm-hmm. I write in 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 four bar pieces, right? Mm-hmm. And my first four is gonna usually be aggressive, right? Mm-hmm. It's going it's going to be a Smack. line in that first four. <laughs> yeah. Second four will be some type of break breakdown. Mm-hmm. I might bounce get bouncy with it, right? right. Yeah, I'm in there now. The next four. <laughs> It's going to be a little melodic cheat code. Mm. And that's what I got from 50. Because mm. I was always bar heavy. That's why Victory is 50 bars. That's why Banks Workout is 50 bars. Because I didn't know structure. Just going off. So just going I was off. just doing 50 bar verses. If it wasn't 50 bars, I felt like I cheated you and myself. <laughs> See, that's the spitters for men. Yeah, Joe <laughs> shit. A lot of them. No, oh, Joe raps for six, seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. that's, that has to be 100 and... <laughs> You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, but dog, think about uh, niggas' whole albums now. Be do you know what's ill on that? It's Sixty damn, bars. Because I never yeah. counted the bars on Victory, of course. It's but 50 bars. that the BPMs on Victory make them fifty bars seem like three hundred bars. bars. Yeah, yeah, facts. yeah facts. but see that that's a that was that's a something thing, too, that I, I adopted along the way of, of knowing how to. It did seem like a long freestyle, but it didn't get drawn out because I would hit a pocket where I would change my flow. Mm. From Banks Workout 1, 2 mm. But like back to what I was saying um, The outros The bridges All of these things I learned from watching him record And They were cheat codes because If I had the Illa 16 He would steal the show Because that's the sound of the man mm. Clapping that mm. I didn't have that mm. yet mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> it still worked. <laughs> right, and he was going to get deadly. Close. But what a combination that is to have someone that can Ooh. like rap like you can rap and have someone that can put songs together like he can put songs For together. Sure. Tell it, me about it. It was crazy. What so, age did y'all uh, <laughs> meet? <laughs> well, my introduction, you know, as Lloyd Banks and, and getting down with the crew was probably 18. Okay, so yeah, Some, yeah, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, but I've been... He knew about me rapping way before that. It just gotcha. my subject matter wasn't there yet. I'm still in school. You know what I mean? Right. I, didn't, I didn't really get there yet. And I'm still learning. Mm. You know what I mean? That's the crazy. That's that's why I'm I'm in love with the writing process. I love this shit. Well, I can show you my phone right now. It's a verse every day, like thousands of verses. You know what I mean? You write every day? For that's real? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what you've been saying. I, I ask that. Oh, I say that all the time. Like, yo, it's hard. I love that shit. The yeah. art... 
yeah. the, 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 the artist, right? Yeah. Like, you could be 60 years old writing poems. Mm-hmm. You might not write raps, but poetry is really rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's that's what I, I ask him all the time. Like, yo, you don't just be home and it just be doodling and it end up being... 40 bars? He, al- shocked, he also has been in a bunker for nine years <laughs> living off royalties and pub. I had to get out here and get a job, nigga. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you know, I'm just talking about the poet in you. You get what I'm saying? Like Nick said, he write bars every day. That's therapeutic for me, though. That's just what And I, I asked I him the same you know thing. Like, yo, that's not... Indoor, like, outdoor. I just have to do that. That's gotcha. how I get whatever I got going on with me. That's how I cope with it. Gotcha. You got some good people in your life to give you that space to do that, though. I mean, take it. All right. So it depends on which. All right. Coming up in a household with, like, you know, siblings and cousins. You know how it is back in the day. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, everybody ends up together. So mm-hmm. we got two cousins over here, mm-hmm. two cousins over there. You know, and just me being in my, my room was, you know... Half of the room, not even. I was about to say you had a room. Yeah, I had a room. To the neck. Yeah, I had a twin size bed. Yeah, you was sporting. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just had enough room in that space for me to. That's why it's funny because this is the first guy that called me an introvert. I didn't even know what the fuck it meant, <laughs> <laughs> which is crazy to me because he's one, he's one too, but he's like a out. He's a public introvert. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Like he'll he'll be. You can turn it on and off. Right, like he'll be in the. I'll be club. out there front. Yeah, he'll be in the Thanks. club, but he's like. It's almost like this some thing. Matrix shit. Like, he just makes the, the fucking room be something else. So it's a strip club, but it's a library. With a glass of milk. <laughs> they could be in a strip club with a glass of milk and a laptop. It's like, yeah, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. I'm here and I'm putting, I'm putting together plans for the next show, all type You're of fucking shit. fucking right. Right? Like, some people go to Starbucks to work. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, so yeah. in, in he goes a to sense, you need store. people, yeah, things moving around you to kind of get a vibe. Gotcha. I'm total opposite. So whether it was by myself, the crew, I would always escape, go to a room and mm. write three or four records in, you know, in, in, in an hour. I'm, I'm, saying to I'm this- most impressed, pardon me, yeah. I'm most impressed, like, l- lyrical ability to side and songs to the side with his ability to maintain that over well, the that years. Was, that was my next thing. It's like, to, at this age, I'm not even talking about back in the day being right. able to do that, but at this age, I think it's ridiculous. to be able to so go crazy. in your basement or wherever the fuck you go to write right. and not be bothered, like that's by nothing. That's impressive on the people that are around you. To me, yeah. they have tried to pull you out that cubby that. hole with what? gossipy bullshit. Sometimes, or come up here and watch this, this show n- or whatever. Yeah, we, you know what I mean? This like, nigga is sinful. Word. No, no, not to say I'm not saying it's easy. I'm just saying no I, I do it enough to where I don't miss that big of a gap. You know what I mean? Right. I got two kids. You know what I mean? Right. Daddy, daddy, daddy. That late, shit. Late night or early? Well, right. Like, my 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 original. Hours before kids was probably 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. Right. So that whole time I was either writing or recording. Yeah. Now it's just like I try to take advantage of those times. Like my kids go to sleep. They might fall out, you know, 11, 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I'll catch that time too. And then I'll wake up at 9 o'clock, go to sleep 6, wake up 9, and I'll catch 9 to 12. Mm. And then outside of that, just try whatever else I'm whatever doing. Whatever I'm on a plane, whatever mm-hmm. I'm doing. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, it's, it's not it. hard. I just work hard enough for it to be effortless. You know? What do you say, kicking it up a notch, <laughs> what do you say to the people that say that y'all broke up New York unity and hip hop? Um, I don't know what to say about that. I mean, I, I think our contributions were so like, you know, massive. It's like you can't have everything the way you want it. You know what I mean? This this wasn't the perfect storm. It was just a fucking storm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you got to take the good with the bad and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, shit. You know, it's funny they talk about that after. Like, you know, if you felt the way at that point, then do should have did something about it, right? Yeah, that's time. That, that, you know what I mean? That wasn't it, the, it was a tight. It was nothing you could do at that sh- at that point. You know what I mean? Yeah, we that, didn't that even know unity was important. And <laughs> yeah, that was a philosophy that developed know. in like, yeah, like twenty two thousand nine. Well, well, no, 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 no that's not true. That's not true. true. Because they tried. True. They tried. Who? When the new the new New York New York record came out, they tried, and. But that was getting to the tail end. But I'm just saying, it, it and they I'm tried saying, to do something, on, and you're talking shot a decade that. after niggas then came in the game. Yeah. And I'm saying, in, in hindsight, once Atlanta took off and niggas saw all of that camaraderie, yeah. niggas looked back to New York and was like, 
That's hey, why mean. couldn't we do that? Oh, because we was beefing. But it's I, can't, I can't even put that on. I that part, I can't beef. put on them. It's, it's New York has always had that competition. But when they put it, it, it in itself. Time out, just for the people that don't know. Right. They put it on them because... 50 was like, if you fuck with me, you can't fuck with an op. And I've got all but, the New York but not, ops. But not just that. Not just that. They put it on us because we didn't need to work with anybody at that point. Mm. Shit, good point. Aftermath, Shady, G-Unit, you could literally get what you needed. Look at my first album. Yeah. Look at my features. All the mm-hmm. 50 Cent, the Tony Ayo, uh, Eminem, mm-hmm. Nate Dogg, Snoop Dogg. These are all people mm-hmm. that was at arm's reach. Right. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So yeah. it's not like you were picking from, you know what I mean? Yeah. This You're pool. picking from the it the world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So anything outside of that, it would have been like, you know, going outside, I guess, because you just wanted a personal reason why you had that record. Like my first, the first feature I actually went and got from somebody was Prodigy. Mm. You know what I mean? Like Prodigy was it for me. Rest in peace, P. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When, Pro- when Prodigy passed, man, that shit hit me like it did when Biggie passed. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Understandably so. Like, I love that that guy right yeah, there. Me too. Like if you listen, if you look at a lot of my projects, he was like on the first fucking record. So not only was he like the king of like the first two In, bars, intro line, yep. But he, he was, just was necessary in the beginning of a project. He was my favorite rapper for several different periods. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, man, I know the infamous backwards. Same. Some people here never heard. <laughs> Asshole, yo. Never heard it. No, he See how narrative. Not, he not, he, I don't he, love he said it. he heard it. He just he said he heard it. it. See how he don't know the songs. He don't know shit ones. Huh? Shit. Yes, I know shit ones. But yeah, you got now just created the second one or the first one. <laughs> See, um, he didn't even know there was first. <laughs> he didn't even know. <laughs> There's two. And then it's like, why do you know it? Because the eight mile. <laughs> oh, not man. for real. Yo, if you learn of... shook ones from Eight Mile, no, I did not, Joe. A lot of the kids did though. The yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah no. And that beat is, <laughs> yeah. But that you know, rest in peace, of prodigy, I man. I got always. Was... What's your favorite uh, punchline of yours? That's like I know, it's... I know. It's my job. <laughs> that's what I'm here to do. That's what I'm here to do. That shit. That's impossible to answer. That's impossible to answer. Or which you delivered your best punchline then? What era? Yeah. Oh, I would say I would say O two. I would say between the, the victory though, though that time victory banks workout one banks yeah. workout two, because that's the way. This is before I got you know uh, the training. You know what I mean? That's all I knew how to do. That was the way for me to grasp and, and get the excitement out the audience. You know what I mean? So once I started getting the songwriting and stuff down packed, then it was like I knew where to pick my punches, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Before mm-hmm. that, it was just like 28 like makers. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. yeah. Now I know how to like spread that apart because we doing mixtapes in two sessions. <laughs> so if you're doing eight balls per verse and then 16 songs, you know what I'm saying? I have to have at least a punchline out each of those eight bars so yeah. one verse is getting broken down you know what I mean mm-hmm. so yeah. what would today you mm-hmm. say to O2 you damn um, I do this shit that's a good one I do shit. this shit yo shit work well but, but, so. but, <laughs> but that's kind of like a that question is a little gray like what do you mean like as far as just overall personally or musically I mean both well actually you could take it how you want my next question is, if today you is in a versus against O2 Monster you, mm-hmm. what do you have today that beats that guy that he didn't have? Stage presence. Mm. Stage presence. I would walk all over me, literally. Over the, early the, you. It, we all got to learn how to perform you. I was actually Listen, shocked man. by your stage presence because hearing you, you're the cool, even talking right, to right, you right, now, right, you're right. the coolest guy in the entire fucking world. Yeah. So before I seen you live, I was like, I'm I'm not really sure what to expect here. But you right. get busy. I could say I went to this was King University. This might have been oh four. Where's that a Jersey? Jersey. Elizabeth. Okay. It was it was a college um show. And the performance there versus seeing you years later, I see exactly what you mean. So now you have to go back years prior to when you saw me. 
why I was just stiff. You know cool. what I mean? Like, being cool. Be, being cool. Like, I was literally getting pushed around that stage. On the early, the first mixtape shows when we're performing, yeah, after Marchetta and records like that, mm-hmm. I was literally getting, like, pushed around because I was f- frozen. Mm. You know what I mean? 50 would come and literally, like, yo, move. Yeah, yo, come move. Because they were already performing already. Mm-hmm. Right, right. Not me. I was up there like the Temptations, like with, with the mic, with the stand, but no <laughs> move. I had no move. Let's give him a little snap and spin. Right. <laughs> you know, back then mics had cords on them. Yeah. Right. So now, so now I'm the reason why you tripped. The reason Take why you tripped. I was a complete fuck up. I was a fuck up for like the first ten shows. And yeah, so I, you know, until listen to I, what a throwback is for the kids. Mike's with chords. <laughs> they don't believe that. Chords, what? You chords. know, and then it turned into I'm not performing if I don't have a cordless mic. And I still like funny, with chords. It's funny because I could take you further than that, right? Back. My first performance was a talent show in, I believe, seventh, eighth grade. Mm-hmm. Or, me and two of my homies. And they had the, the the mics with the stand and everything. We didn't even know to take the mic off the stand, right? <laughs> so we're just literally like, you know, in front. And um, 50 closed that show out. Wow. That seventh my, grade. At my junior high school. Yeah. Wow. So he was probably uh, Jam Master J at the time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or track Masters, one of them. Yeah. And um, so he came out and he's like, if you got love for this hip hop shit, put your hands in the air. And all my punk ass classmates put their <laughs> hands in the air. <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, why the fuck did not think to, to say that? But we didn't have nothing to reference of. We had no examples of what a live performance was. Nice. Think about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. At that time, you watch Video Music Box or some shit like that. You didn't see live performances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. stage show. Yeah, bro, right. Like yeah. even you would hear, I got seven Mac 11s, about eight, but I never saw you never it. Never saw it. Right. Right. I just heard it. Yo, we're, we're roughly the same age. I was in upstate New York doing this shit, so we had no idea what a live performance should look so like. So imagine you what, what that saying? done to me. That yeah. fucked me up. And then, you, you know, stole it. six years later, I'm actually signed to the guy. And, ro- and rocking out shows. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm loading up a tough one again. In hindsight. Right. Now that we're all adults right. and grown. Because you love R&B music. I wouldn't say love. Not like you do. Not like I've seen me. your lives. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm a nut. That's interesting. I'm, I'm more. You're very melodic. Older. Like, well, that's what I mean. You are with the incorporating the melodies, the melodics. You'll get the yeah, dope yeah. singer. You'll write like right. you. You combine it. Mm-hmm. Does any part of you today feel any guilt for how these new people look at Ja Rule's catalog? So what do you mean? What do you mean? They don't. <laughs> nigga, yo. It's, it's, well, it's a serious question. I know. These, well, I, I, it's a serious answer. These, that's going to be. The young, this new generation, I don't right. really think, holds Ja Rule's catalog in its proper place in hip hop. Wait, 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 wait. Which generation? The new ones. Today. Nigga. I don't yeah. think that's true. That's that true. is very true. I don't think that's true. It ain't just him. That's true. It's, they it's, don't even hold Jay in, in the high regard, the new generation. Fam, I've told, I've, I ran down the but, list. They don't hold. We, what do we. Gauging this off, right? Because now, if you look at a lot of the records, like um, the I don't know if you call it drill, but you know the drill artists that are mm-hmm. doing like they'll take a record uh, from almost like covers the, the early two thousands or something, and yeah. then like With Karma them. could be. I was actually in the studio not so long ago, and there was a, a younger artist, and he was doing a remix to Karma, wow. like a drill version. Right. You know what I mean? I like when they do that. Yeah. So all of those records, like um, you know, it's too many to name, but in that in that time with the uh. The Nellies and everybody. That's, like, the that's other kind one, of that's the way the other they're one catalog. I was getting ready to say they don't I think, hold. I think ja, a lot of them who are melodic. Your Nellies, your hell. I think there was a. I think there was a dip. I think there was a dip. I think there was a dip in both of them, Ja and Nelly, between maybe 09 and twenty fifteen, where people were like, "This is." Weird or but whatever the fuck. What, what I think hap- it bounced back though. I think but, people fuck with that. But what happens is Nelly's they, classics are still. I'm sorry, I, uh, Nelly's classics 
when they come on, are still identified and recognized as classics. Mm-hmm. I still see people request that fucking, uh, all I think about is you. The like, amongst course, amongst right. the kids, they yeah. got TikTok bops, right, he's got right. country success. I don't know that that's true with Ja outside of Put It On Me, and I've heard people say that that ain't true but about look, Put It On Me. What happens, <laughs> though, is once you hit that, that point, like you said, after that little dip they hit, yeah, they'll treat you like you were never hot. I don't think that's true with it, them. I'm, yo, dog, I, it, people, it, it, yo they, will, they, they will forget quick. We'll let the people in the comments figure so, this one. So yeah. I think your question, uh, I can't speak for you, but he said, yo, do you feel guilty? <laughs> At <laughs> all. I mean, <laughs> any of it. He asked or, him, or does he feel guilty or res- Res- yeah. responsible for any of it? No. Oh, man, Banks. It was on. Man. I don't. I think, it, I think it's all, like, fair play. You know what I mean? Like... Because even with G-Unit, like, when you have an impact that strong, you kind of, like, we hit our point, too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's not like they're the only ones affected. We're affected by the damage as well. Mm -hmm. You know? Because once you set that bar... If you you don't get back to that bar... You can't reach it all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, I'll give you a perfect example. Like, around 2000... Maybe after yeah, around two thousand eight, I started seeing shit like this is when like rap, not even all hip hop dot com and hot new hip hop and hip hop DX, and mm-hmm. I was heavy paying attention to that, like reading the comments, and I'm I started eventually submitting single by single to these people, like mm-hmm. getting in touch with them, who I should contact, and mm-hmm. sending it to them, and I'm reading the comments, and it was I would see like. 75% of them were like, you know, he's a, a spitter. But then it was niggas like, yo, you fell off. Washed he ain't the same. Uh, yeah. I'm like, nigga, well, what? I can tell you. As for what, because I was one of those. Mm-hmm. What happened was around that time, you 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 leaned off of the punchlines and started like really getting deep with the rapping. No, this is before that. Before that. This is before Cause that. Because I remember, that's what happened for me. I what, was like. What, how, what album era are you talking about? Or what? Oh, uh, he yeah, got, that might be like that might be twelve. I'm thinking it might be around twelve. Cause that's what the all or nothings, right around there, right. Cause what happened was PLK Banks, mm-hmm. yeah, unfuckwittable, mm-hmm. and then it got to a point where it wasn't really about the punchlines as much. Mm-hmm. So what happened was like, damn, that's what we listening for. I want to hear the punches, mm-hmm. and he he kind of not saying you didn't have them, but. Mm-hmm. You shot, you know, like I'm, I'm gonna give you this too. It ain't all punchlines no more. Like you said before, every bar damn near was a punchline. So right. Th- and, and this would be my question to that, mm-hmm. right? Who did stick to it? Like, you know what I mean? Like at that point, from your and era. now, like, yeah. can you no. name somebody no. who actually did? No. For me, with Banks, it was so just more. Is... He wasn't putting shit out more than like. Nah, he still would have. See, like a little record drop here and there, single here. See how you try to get past my point. I no, just, no, no, I I just want them to let you finish. Well, 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 <laughs> you did. Part no, part so you said nobody did, right? Correct. I don't but think anybody you wanted did. me to. It's it's what happens when we fall in so love with something exactly. from an artist. So you so at some point you have to stop listening to your friends, right? Mm-hmm. Because they'll keep you. They'll keep you there. Right. They'll keep you right there. Mm, that's true. I call Joe from time to time, you know, because I respect just his whole mindset of what he going to do, when he going to do it, and don't give a fuck about what nobody think about it, especially when I'm getting ready to transition and make a move, too. Mm -hmm. And I would, you know, just like, I'm losing my track, my track. What was we at? Uh, Punchlines, punchlines. No, that wasn't where I was getting at. You said you modified your Blocking out the noise. Changing, okay. Change, changing, switch, switching some shit right. when people are used to a certain thing from you. Exactly, mm-hmm. that's got me right back on track. So, I spoke to you, and you were telling me like when you made that decision to why? Because you know, I'm like I'm a writer, writer. So mm-hmm. I, I I appreciate other writers, and mm-hmm. I want this guy to rap. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So when he gave me the reason why, I said, "Damn, that's ill," right? Because when I had my kids. Like, I stopped a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I haven't smoked in six years. Wow. Hey. You see what I'm saying? So, like, drinking and smoking and things like that. It was just, I, I was so proud of that moment 
you know, I've been in the game since, you know, 18, 19 years old, all the way up to 34, I had my first child. That was bigger than me than anything. You know, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure it is for a lot of parents, but mm -hmm. for me in particular, I was like, fuck everything. Yep. Mm. Everything. I, I gave you bastards 15 years. You know what <laughs> I mean? Why you in these comments and mm -hmm. telling me what you want me to do and this, that, and the third? Mm -hmm. Fuck all y'all. What's my daughter's name? Mm. Do you know that? Because if you don't, I'm not really concerned. You know what I mean? So it's like, I really got into that mode where I wanted to make powerful music, right? So, and not to blame it on him, but it was like, he was the tail end of what kind of pissed me off. Like, it was a point in New York where they were saying New York radio didn't sound like New York, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, all the way. That was and, true. And Trinidad James had did some type of show and he was on the stage and he was saying, like, how he was in New York and it didn't sound like New York. And I'm like, wow. Like, this is shit that you would hear behind closed doors, but this nigga really said it like, I remember. publicly. I remember. Yeah. I was at that show. <laughs> and at that point, I was working on my first installment with DJ Drama, though. A win, a, mm -hmm. right? So this is, goes back to answer your question of why I changed. He said, you New Yorkers don't even sound like New York rappers no more. At that point, I had 18 songs doing my personal rendition of what a trap song would be at that time. Mm -hmm. Right? Because when I'm thinking Gangsta Girls, I'm thinking, this is what you're supposed to do. Right, right. right. Mm -hmm. It's dramas, Gangsta right. Girls, so, Atlanta. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was the last draw for me. I scrapped the whole project. Shit. Scrapped it. Records with everybody from, you know, Dirk and Yo Gotti, every, whoever was hot, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Damn, Trinidad James. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did, yo. Yeah, Fucking so trouble. I scrapped it and then it turned into what we've known as, mm -hmm. you know, all or nothing, you know, failure is no failure option. Is okay. and, um, so when I first dropped it, a lot of people were saying, like, you know, this is not what we was expecting, right? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. But in my heart, I'm feeling like this is the best music I'm making at this point. Because in retrospect, it's like really saying something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, so as the time went on, like if I go on my Twitter right now and I put a poll up and say, what do you think my top two projects are? Yeah. They're going to say Cold Corner mm -hmm. and AON. Mm -hmm. Which is meaning that my fan base, well, some of them are actually growing up. Yeah, that's, a, mm. that's right? exactly so, what happened. So we want certain things to happen when we want it to happen. Like, we wanted Floyd and Pacquiao to fight when we wanted them to fight. Right. Right? We wanted Bad Boys 3 20 years ago. <laughs> didn't work out that way. It just yeah. didn't happen that way. Yeah, you see true. what I'm saying? We never yeah. wanted coming to America, too. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody <laughs> asked for that shit, yo. <laughs> Leave that movie alone, Hey, and they man. got Bad Boys 4 coming for you. And they got Bad Boys uh, 4 for <laughs> happening. But, but, but... <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot to answer your question. It was a lot going on with me in in my personal life, yeah. yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So I start to question everything, right, and just my importance of what I'm really here for. And I don't. I'm never really vocal. I'm not the type to go and vent. I'm not one of them guys, and I took a lot of losses, you know, personally. And you know, I'm at the cemetery like every Sunday, if not, you know, every other Sunday. You know, that's why I go to kind of, like, think. And um, I've been in some dark, dark places, you know? So mm -hmm. I start thinking, like, okay, well, at this point, I'm going to be selfish, you know? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do something that when my kids get older, they'll hear this out of me and understand I actually was saying something. Mm -hmm. And then I'll get DMs with people, like, sending, like, I got a DM yesterday with a with a kid telling me his father kind of put him onto my music and he just passed away. And, you know? And these are the records, these are the uh, the, the projects that resonated more mm -hmm. with, the with this way of quote thinking. quote hit shit or right, whatever. So if yeah, somebody yeah. tells me, yo, Banks, oh, Blue Heft, no, you my nigga. Blah, blah, blah. Those are for the oohs and ahs. Right. But then you start getting like daps that turn into hugs and shit. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I worked with this guy for a decade. Yeah. That, that, Seen it. <laughs> right. But see, <laughs> and I shit. never told you I went to the cemetery to think. <laughs> yeah. But see, what he <laughs> does, he, what he does is therapeutic too. Right? Yeah. Because absolutely. Joe, Joe from early on is not mood music. Joe, that's no. two different things. You know what I mean? So once once that happens, you tap into uh, uh, 
a pocket where mm-hmm. people are relating relating mm-hmm. to you on yeah. a whole another yeah. level. And now like, you're rhyming for something different. This motherfucker's mm-hmm. human. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I think that's the biggest misconception is that they think we're like. Remember, remember, um, what's Speak the movie? On uh, what's the movie? Uh, Do the right thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember, you said they're black, but they're not like black, black. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm, I start thinking like, damn, these motherfuckers actually think I'm like some ill nigga, man. And I probably done been through more, you know, just trials and tribulations and shit than most of them. Mm-hmm. But so you never let it on in the music. Right. But that's just my personality. No, right. not music or publicly. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, back to that hermit shit, man. Nobody would ever be able to say what he's really been feeling, thinking, or experiencing mm-hmm. in the last how many years. Because at the end of the day, it's, it's just none of your business. Right? <laughs> and I don't want to sway people one way or the other. Mm-hmm. Like, when you make a decision to go from rap to doing the podcast you have to be in your mind 100% locked into what you're doing definitely right? so I have so much I want to do so much I want to say and I figure I'm going to have to stop rapping too completely unless I learn how to put that into the rap you feel mm-hmm. me mm-hmm. so that was whole my whole way of thinking and on, on your point a lot of times I say majority of the times the fans don't really know what they want. Like, how we, mm-hmm. myself included, we'll sit there and say, yo, we wanted punchline this, we wanted this, we wanted this. And then we get the other project and it's like, oh shit, this dope. We ain't even know we wanted this from you. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's what, what happens. Fans, fans, fans. Fans never, fan, fan, yeah, little sheepy <laughs> <laughs> Fans never really know what they want though. I hear it even about the pod. They'll say, yo, we want this, we want that. And I then think it's, it's just different oh, fans. I just think it's different fans. You can I have a million fans and 500,000 of them like this, 300,000 like this, 200,000 like this. So you'll see different people mm-hmm. that, that get moved by different shit. And certain but ones also, be louder than the other ones. Yeah, but yeah, also, yeah. the ones who didn't even know that they would like that because they never expected it from you. I'm talking about that fan. Like, I, again, I use myself as an example. I was a huge Punchline fan. Right. And when I first heard that first AON, I was like, ah, oh, this mm-hmm. ain't really what I was checking for, mm-hmm. man. Was, but now when I go back, I'm like, Oh shit! This shit is ill. Yeah, yeah, but if every fan is like that, then all ideas will die when they're cease. spawned. Or They'll cease. Yeah. <laughs> every one of them. Yeah. Which is why it's tough. To, that's why they say there's a stubbornness that an artist needs. Yes, mm. right. That yes, sure. right. to everybody yes. else may be stupid and unhealthy, and yo, this nigga's hard headed. She don't listen to nobody. You but need that though. You need it. You need it to Absolutely. block out the just yeah. all the shit yeah. that you're gonna encounter. Banks, you know I appreciate you. You know I love you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Huge fan. I mean, what else can I say? You already know how I feel about you, man. I'm just glad you're back. Back out for them niggas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Appreciate Mm -hmm. y'all, man. Word up. So we got the album. Friday. Album Friday. Yeah, album Friday, man. The Course of the Inevitable 2. Sony Hall. Fire Sony Hall as well. Friday night as well, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. going with you after security. Yes, yeah, sir. Is that a safe show? <laughs> Yo, yeah, very. Uh, very. I'm a family man, man. I can't yeah. play around with you, nigga. So is he. My kids. That's why there. it's good to go. Good to go to a bank show. The last one was safe. Yeah. What you mean? Like, the last few of them were safe. No, I'm talking about the last one I went to. I bet I'm talking the last one I went to. <laughs> nah, that, that's all. But that's, I ain't going front, man. You want that now, that man. We older. Wanna, yeah, because yeah, shit, I'm older. I don't want that other shit no more. These artists, man. Like they they dying before they even really feel the love, the mm-hmm. the, the genuine love, right? Mm-hmm. Like they love the idea of the energy you bring, right? Mm-hmm. The record is fire. They love what comes with it, the baggage, the, the woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody's going there. It was yeah. a place to be. Yeah. But niggas still might throw a bottle when they get restless, mm-hmm. just to go back to their hood and be like, Yo, I'm the nigga who threw that bottle. Mm-hmm. Fuck the show up. Mm-hmm. When you get 15, 20 years down, man. Still you can though. stand outside, nigga, make sure you get home safe. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. certain niggas could sleep in, Jada kids could sleep on the park bench. Mm-hmm. Word. Word. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Word. Niggas will stay there. Word. <laughs> Until you, yeah, I'm just, yo, go, ahead, I'm just go ahead, get a nap. I'm on my stand. I'll be here. I got you. Know what I'm saying? Word. 
So it's to that point now as an artist and being in the game so long, you know, I, I genuinely appreciate my fans. I love them. You know what I mean? I want them to get back home to their kids. Sure. They didn't have fucking kids when we started off. Sure. They was kids. Now we have kids. a reason they to was kids. make it home. Yeah. Get home safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's true. I agree. And, and, and just being relatable. Like when I, you know, I come on stage with all the jewelry and all that shit on, I leave with none of it on. Mm. None of it on. I go up there, I got this hat on, <laughs> black t-shirt. And what I learned over the years is it, it makes you more relatable That's true. to your mm -hmm. fans. That's true. Facts. Then they can look like you. Facts. Mm -hmm. So when they come, you know what I mean? So yeah. if, if Joe had that wife beat on, it's going to be niggas in the crowd with that wife beat on eventually. Yeah. Right? I'm bringing my and, shit. A, and a hat to, to go with it. Right. Eminem come out, he got his Nike hat, his Sarah Jordans. Max, yeah. You can look Max like him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They would call me a bunch of names if I came out with that thing. They call me names now. No, Fuck y'all niggas. Niggas call me you get Pops, an encore. Pops Smoke. Nah, I think you'll get it. <laughs> you get an encore. That shit is like the bench jersey. <laughs> Yo, fuck you little niggas out there. I put a little picture up, thought I was cute. <laughs> niggas said, oh, look at, look at Pop Smoked. <laughs> I hate they little creative asses, yo. Uh, the pizza with the wife beater on it was... No, that was that funny. That took me out. That was funny. <laughs> that took me out. Nah, I want to hear my shit, man. I don't care if it's fucking... Where my shit at real quick before we're on the way out? Stupid. Yeah, I had some fun with this one, too. Yeah, this one's... Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause. Lloyd Banks, we yeah. thank him. Oh my God. Mm. This was crazy. Jewel. That's my man, though. But. This, no, this ain't the way. No, no, I know. I'm oh, talking okay. to Ice. You're not talking Never to me. Ice. Oh, oh, okay. They got their own shit going on. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually one of my biggest performance records now. To Wait, what'd you, what'd you say? It's one of my biggest performance records. I can see How that. could it not be? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this shit. Show all energy. I wrote this one too. This nigga has some hard beats in Korea. <laughs> I gotta be honest, man. Banks is one of my favorite people. That was amazing. That was no, that was dope. yeah, that was great. Sorry to the people listening, but we just potted for another two hours in the backyard. <laughs> for real, <laughs> that was great. He's great. Yeah. I wish I knew a better way to convey that to people, but I didn't expect it honestly. I know he's a great rapper, great artist, all that shit. I didn't know that he would be a great conversationalist like this because he's usually cool and he's quiet. You know, really like, mm -hmm. and you hear know, him from you know he what? gave it up. Yo. You could tell he a wealth of information too, just because they was global artists. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm lot. saying? Like them niggas wasn't regional. They wasn't even domestic U.S. artists. The cool. niggas was all over the world. My nigga. So his experiences and the shit and just the money he's seen, the rooms he's been in is probably crazy. And the ability to remain himself and an evolved version of himself and be consistent in that with the changing times okay. is remarkable sure. to me yo sure like to avoid mess with street shit women mm -hmm. any of the arrests, millions of things that police happen, yeah. like to be as to speak to all the things you just spoke to and avoid all the distractions that mm -hmm. exist that's yeah. real is remarkable to me that's and real. still be a good Human. Human being. Mm -hmm. Like a good dude. Like a family man. The shit that he talked about that was... I've been harassing that man for a decade, over a decade, to just talk. <laughs> he reminded me like early Fab when only the niggas that knew Fab knew he was funny because yeah. he wouldn't talk. He would never let you see no that No personalities, mm -hmm. distant, guarded. Mm -hmm. That's always been... Yo, talk. Nah, nah. When I'm ready, I'm gonna come talk. He came and talked. He did. Even the, even the talks in the backyard. Yeah, he gave it up. Great guy, man. Shout out to Banks. That was amazing. Shout out to Banks. For real, that was real dope. Oh, all right. And it was nostalgic for me, man. I gotta be honest. <laughs> I, I like getting around them niggas because it's a small club, like he said. Mm -hmm. Like so, when it's a few niggas from that. Club that's like, yo, man. It's like when your dad see niggas he went to high school with 50 years from now, nigga. Man, man, but, oh, man, yeah. Takes you back. Glad I beef with niggas like that, yo. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for I'm honored. <laughs> I'm honored. <laughs> I am. <laughs> that's sick old shit, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, I, I don't I get think it, it is. I get it, though. If you're going to beef with dudes, like, at least let it be, like, 
good dudes that 20 years, 10 years. Good 15. men. Yes. Yeah. That you can uh, make amends with. Uh, have, have a grow joke. from that. Grow from that. Joke like, about it. Laugh. Joke. Harken back. Mm-hmm. Reminisce. Maybe get money with in the future. Like, you glad you beef with niggas like that. Makes you a lot stronger than beefing with people that are here today, going tomorrow, too. Not for nothing. Last nigga I fought, he didn't go to the internet. And I said, good to beef with a guy like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That is true. Like, that's what I mean. He did. Yeah. Good man. Good man, man. Good man. I'm lucky. All right. Uh, all right, we gone. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this as much as we enjoyed giving it to you. Pause. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until the next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. Au revoir. So long. Goodbye. Remember, life is a series of moments and moments pass. So let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Do remember... It's a whole new crop of young bitches out there that's just finding out that y'all do a podcast. <laughs> they in the deer. Oh, I didn't even know you had a podcast. <laughs> Stupid. You did it. <laughs> you, how could you? Oh, man. Oh, my God. And lastly, the best. <laughs> We need to get back at the caca mother. Caca mother pocket. What are we going to talk about? I don't know. I think we can figure something out. <laughs> and lastly, the baddies are insecure. The stagnant women want to travel, and the closed minded women want you to teach them things. And the young girls want to grow up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> They trying to get grown. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. What was the Toys R, Us, the Toys R Us mascot name? Jeffrey. Jeffrey, Jeffrey. Hey, this ain't for the Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeff, they can send his ass back to the desert. Uh-uh. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Jokes. Hey. Thank you to Banks. Shout out to Hovain. And the fans. <laughs> it's no us without you. <laughs> <laughs> Before we leave, oh. it's being reported out there. Oh, I know what he's saying. <laughs> that the Jazz have expressed willingness to listen to trades for Donovan Mitchell. <laughs> Not even two seconds later, a report came out. Said the New York Knicks are quickly putting a package together. They, you don't think that package was already put together? They're going to give him a piece of the garden. <laughs> you don't think it was put together <laughs> already, though? Some real estate to come <laughs> Nigga, they had that package. Oh, man, this is about to be the worst defensive backcourt uh, in the world. Donovan Mitchell and Jalen Brunson. <laughs> wow. Easy buckets. Oh, man. I think me and Isha's taller than them niggas. <laughs> oh, this is, Yo, this is oh, scary. Yeah, this nigga stupid. Hey, the, hey, to really finish it off, let's just have Richard Jefferson uh, officiate every Nick game, home game, this year. That'll really drive this one home. All right. That's all I got. We are the New York. You think RJ's going? In that trade, yeah. Y'all are going to clear the <laughs> Hello? whole team out. Y'all will give them a spike, do nigga. RJ. <laughs> Hello? RJ, JP, any other alphabet you want to name are gone, nigga. RJ Barrett, our draft pick that we drafted. Nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Our Bye. third pick. Uh-huh. Yes. Bye. Mm-hmm. Fam, I said y'all, will, get, them y'all off? will send Spike. Bye. Yeah. I don't care. Y'all niggas are trade Spike. <laughs> All right, wait. Before we leave. Patrick wanna... Ewing. <laughs> See ya. Can y'all be serious for a second, guys? Are... This is my team. Uh, Randall uh, Barrett. Tell me the package y'all would y'all would put together, and then we leave. Y'all going to have to give them a point guard back. So one of them good draft picks y'all had last year. Because y'all drafted two good guards, not Quigley. The, one, the, Deuce McBride. The young boys that can shoot. And Grimes. Grimes. Randall, Barrett, and some picks. Huh? Shit. That's a steal. God. For That's who? A steal for who? For Donovan McMitchell? For Donovan Mitchell? Heard him. He nah. said it's a steal. Give me your package. I think you're going to give up a lot of draft picks. If you just give up them two no, players. No, I want to hear what you would give up. What would you do with the team? With what the Knicks have? Damn near whatever it would take. Holy shit. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm on a point like... Uh, who who y'all want? Yeah, pick. 
Go ahead. Here, 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 go. Look, this is the roster. Pull it up. I'll send you the link. So y'all will make you tell the me what you want. Carmelo thing again. Nah, nah. You know why? Because we p- gutted the team for Carmelo. Nah, the pieces that y'all got left is all right. Yeah. Y'all picked up. Yo, y'all pieces are all right. Who you want? Y'all, y'all forgetting what's? I think Cam Reddish is gonna be a star, yo. He might not be a superstar. He's gonna he's, be a star. He's, he's, he's in that package. Th- he's in that. I know package. Y'all gotta keep Cam. Let me put together the package, then we'll get out of here. Grimes. I think they'll get. Oh man, I like him. I like him too. I think Cam Reddish is out of here because they've been trying to get him out of here. Definitely trade. You'll have to include either right. Toppin or quickly one of them, and I think they'll probably want quickly. Quickly goes. <laughs> make too much money. How much money does uh Donovan Mitchell make? Oh, J- uh, Julius Randle got to go. Julius Randle's gone. Barrett is gone. Grimes. I think y'all keep Cam. I think, Cam, I think RJ why? Barrett stays. Cam still. Oh, and Fournier. Cam still. Fournier is gone. And that might be too much money. Too much money. That's too much Numbers money. Numbers got to match. That's too much money. Cam Reddish Fournier is going to stay Cam with y'all because he don't make no money. Oh, so Fournier is in that. That's eighteen million. And Randall. I get this deal. I get this deal done without sending Barrett. Is my point. I think I could do it. I think you got. Nah, they might want Barrett and Fournier. And y'all gonna want five first round draft picks. Y'all gonna want five first round draft picks. <laughs> And I'm sending R.J. Bear. Don't y'all have a couple next year? Pick, yo. First round picks or am I wrong? We do. Dog, y'all got a bunch of two threes. Y'all got to give them away. Oh, fine. It's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. Bye. Bye then. Forget it. Forget we ever potted. <laughs>